All right, so here's the deal. Y'all know how Lancelot players really like to mix here. This is the full mix-up right now. It's just, all right, here it is. We, we, we all got hit by the mix-up tonight, and I'm hitting y'all with the mix-up because I ain't playing. I want to hang out with my man right here because this is Grand Blue Top 8, CEO Taku 2023, and we got some banger games coming at you right now, starting out with what I'm assuming is going to be a Cagliostro mirror. Uh, oh, my God. Look, Top 8, <laughs> CEO Taku 7. It is what is supposed to be potentially the final time that we had Grand Blue versus at not only just CEO Taku, but at any major going forward for the rest of the year yep. because we rise in the month of November. We have one character missing. Where's Nicholas, bro? DLC. Where's Nicholas? D DLC, that's all I Give got for you. Give me my point. Nicholas. <laughs> he is not base roster, my good sir. He's not. He's not. I'm but, so sorry. Know, it's okay. It's okay. I it's know okay. you want it. There will be. There's more. It's more out there in the future, but plenty of great characters and great competition to be looking forward to. But let's send off our favorite fighting game with one of the, some of the best noise that you could possibly make in yeah. the chat. We greatly appreciate y'all hanging out with us here hanging out with us here today in the skies. Let's get this top eight match started. So Cagliostro Mirror. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So we, I don't know if we're going to see the mirror, actually, because Prada does have side pieces. Okay, no, we're going to see it. All right. Prada is not above, like, counterpicking this matchup, right? Right, um, right? Usually that happens online. Like, we've seen the Catalina have some success in the past. But the, the I don't know. Prada's put so much work into Prada, to uh, Cagliostro, excuse me, over the past couple of years where mm -hmm. I, I could see I could see how she might want to test that. Um, now, Wavy, Wavy is... is I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I got I got wavy win of this thing. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> like right, the tournament. Call it's, out. It's, All right. I think grands are gonna be wavy acts, and, and if I'm wrong about that, y'all can clown on me so hard in chat. I'm good with that. But like going into top eight, I, I that's got to be my guess. I think. Um, but honestly, this this could go either way. Um, both of these players have really been doing a good job of pushing the limit, grinding with this character. Um, especially now that Zom isn't traveling as much. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I don't know this. This is going to be a great way to start on top eight. Um, and, of course, winner of this goes all right on to winner's finals. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the strongest characters in the game uh, at this current point, right? So fully set up here. Got a couple hexes on the ground for you. All right. Right off the bat. Oh, there's the 2-H. Okay. Usually when you see Prada go for the jump like that, you see the teleport, too. So I, I, I kind of like how we're, uh, we're going in with layer zero right here. Keeping it simple. Wavy playing a really good control game, but there's the hit. Side switch? No, it doesn't have to teleport. All right, nice. Two H set up here as well. Locked into the corner. Wavy. Applying oh, pressure oh, oh. in this corner here once again. Yeah, Low hex set up oh. as well too for an extension. And you, that. Oh, that's still active. Okay, good jab right there. All right. Yes. And there it is. Yeah. The rush extension. This is going to be more than enough. Yeah. Huge buff that Cagliostro got under medium normals is the ability to actually confirm off rush is yeah. kind of. I don't want to say game breaking because there's definitely cats with better stuff. You know what I mean? Like, but. <laughs> But, but like this character kit, it. right? Like it is so important for her kit to continue doing that. Yeah. Oh, again. Yes. Wavy's winning the strike throw game in a big oh. way right now. And again, there's the gas tech. This is going to be a hefty combo. Set it up. No. All right. Let's keep it going. Oh, nice no. throw set up as well too with the teleport. Keep it locked down. A high hex as well. Rush confirmed. With the hex to extend the big tail. Look at this. You messed up for that. You know that? That, that wasn't a confirm. That was that was wavy pressed heavy and then the rush button with with her eyes closed because she's like, yeah, I know that's gonna hit. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I know me and you have talked about this before, but like understanding those post tech situations in this game is so important, especially yeah. with like the difference between quick tech and, and delay tech. Yes. Um, so like it, it doesn't surprise me that Wavy is on point with that right off the bat. Oh, absolutely. There's that late tech right there. Oh, Again? No. This is a rough start for Prada. Oh, no. Okay, Ultra Clash, close heavy, yup. <laughs> Just a couple of hits for you here. You need to stand up eventually. I'm going to hit you a one. Or no. Wow. Yeah, the air hex not going to look out. Block this time. There's the Five overdrive. Yes. Oh, no. Ooh, back shift into the corner. That's one of the things that I've seen Prada really develop over, like, the last couple of months is I was optimizing that back shift game. And I, is that going to hit or is that safe jab? No, okay, safe jab. Okay, good, good, good. A scary situation for sure. Excellent punish here. Got off the wall with the rush. Nice little hoop setup too. No All meter right. on both sides. I don't think we're going to see rush again this round, but... Oh, yo! Let's go. Wavy still gets the press on there. That's very good. I mean, excellent button all around from Cagliostro too, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, far heavier in general. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The fact that that, it, that hits as high as it does, too, is crazy. Oh, okay. So that's that's a good adjustment for Prada right there. Teleport T for teleport. Hello? 
Such All a right. strong there option. You if you yeah. fought against Kagliosha at this point in the game, you have been smoked by that at some point. Oh, absolutely. No question. All right, hold oh, this pressure no. in the corner of the 5-H. I'll let you breathe for a little bit, but once I come back in, that 5-H, once again. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there's the like overdrive. The overdrive set up, too. Just going to stay invulnerable for a little bit and make you hold that corner. What? New. New. That was, you that was something. Yeah. Wavy was big chilling. Like, I know what you're going for. So Just reactive. give it to me, OK? So I, I got to run some sets with Wavy last night, two nights ago. Yeah. The, like, those reactions, that's, that's not a one-off. No, definitely not. That's that, not that's like, you're going to see that more. <laughs> and it, the fact of the matter is, like, Wavy was pulling that stuff off online as well, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Especially, but I guess Prada, though, like, wait, whoa. That's what I'm saying. Like, and, and like, like Prada, from what we've seen, especially over the last year in the development, mm -hmm. Prada's really good at this game. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that's, that's, uh, don't, don't look at that very quick 2-0 and think that's indicative of Prada's skill. No, because, like, wait for the losers <laughs> run. That's all I'll say. You'll, that, you'll see what I'm talking that's about. That's just indicative of how good these players are at this point. Like, once yeah. you start hitting top 24 territory, it's all killers, nothing but. Like, yes. that is how strong this community has become because they've all been constantly grinding together in that uh, NAPC Discord as well. Yep. Uh, constantly keeping up the competition. They play for the love of the game. No one's hiding from each other here. We're all growing to learn and improve and look forward to the future that is Grand Blue Rising. And somebody who has been a pinnacle in the growth of this community, Callisto coming up yeah. here, still playing this Catalina. And this is his first yeah. top eight. I I, uh, I actually didn't know no, that. I uh, guess I just assumed he had made top eights before, um, and he came close. Close, I think at uh, C U Otaku last year, and Frosty's this year got ninth. Do you mean like first top eight in a at a big major in, in a, this okay, game? I sorry, in this game, like, I should have specified. Online, like I know he's gotten online Most, top eights. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, all, all offline right. for Grand Blue at a major this yeah, size, which is yeah. huge. Yeah, usually just shy for sure, but uh, going up against Axon Star. All right, so one thing you want to keep out in this matchup is when it goes back to the player cam, see if Callisto is adjusting his chair. So this is this, this is this is the deep floor. You okay, ready for this? Okay. So Callisto was telling me before we played, he did something about the height of the chairs. It hits his belt at the awkward angle, so he'll try to adjust. He'll drag the whole chair forward. And uh, I'm just saying, if he tries to do that mid-set, that might be a problem for him because Axon's really good at uh, keying into those uh, those missteps. You, you know, know uh, <laughs> you know what it is. Uh, too tall. Stop being tall. That's what I'm saying. He's got to stop that. Look, yeah. I average told him height that people too. succeed Characters all the way. You know, we fit oh, in everything. Yeah. We can ride on everything at Universal and Disney. You don't got to worry about ceiling fans. Yeah, exactly. No oh. ceiling fans. Yeah, I'm saying, I, you, you put me in like a Victorian area, old home, like I gotta, I gotta watch out for ceiling fans, I gotta right. watch out for low hanging Boom. lights, it's deadly, bro. Me, I can uh, I can still play at the play place and not have an issue. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Um, Matchup wise, uh, in terms of Grand Blue Fantasy versus, um, this is actually one of uh, Matera's kind of funnier matchups. Catalina, Catalina's got some sauce to deal with with the Matera stuff. Um, the problem is, Axon is. Axon's kind of the, the Matera goat right now. Um, mm. I I don't know, but like a year ago I would have said Senpai Spider was the cat. To right, beat. I was gonna say him like really. Like, yeah, uh, but well, Axon's had the offline results. Axon, um, God, that's what did fair, he just win? Fair, one crossover, one um, something else. I can't mm. remember. I'm drawing a blank. Because well, last year we had Senpai Spider as well yes. taking this top eight. Yep. So uh, um, top eight. It. Combo breaker too, I think, uh, 2022, yes, if yes, I remember yes, correctly. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, yeah. Axon, Axon has like kind of perfected the blend of like zoning and hit and run style gameplay right. that like Matero really uh, kind of prefers. Um, but this is where things get Ooh. dicey right there. Yeah, and that sweep. Yeah, the stacker low. I really dig. Oh, Whoa! that is an uncharacteristic oh. guest tech from Axon. Sorry, he's gonna pay for it in a big way right here. Look at that damage, bro. That combo limit was exceeded. Yeah, it do All be right. doing that. Doesn't confirm the counter oh. hit. That's trouble. Try to spot dodge, but the rainfall definitely going to shut this down. Make a jump in, follow up as well to keep the plus Midi frames overdrive. here. Yeah, the media overdrive just to extend it too. Yo, yeah. immediate spin. Nah. Oh no, we got the animation. Okay, that's it. Oh my goodness, Axis are able to cash that out. I joke about Matera having like dog water damage, but that was nah, a two touch game tight. right there. For real? <laughs> yeah. For both sides, even. I was like, gonna say, I still got one more hit. Yeah. Oh, and that's that's how this matchup's gonna go. Either like we're we're gonna see Callisto get some big damage here, or it's gonna be like Axon either nuke or death by a thousand paper cuts. And that was solely because like Callisto ended up falling on the wrong side, trying to get the spot dodge on Rainfall, and just mistimed yeah. it, unfortunately. That's happened. Like yeah. a, this is a death by inches kind of game. There, yeah. There's the spear. You catch the right spot on that. You can't get the knockdown. Ooh, that was five L. Oh no. 
Oh, didn't detonate the butterfly though, but the overhead will. That's a big problem right here. Mm -hmm. Nice extension here with that rush. Gonna set with two more butterflies. Got one more. Gonna have to hold these frames. Bait. That's Ooh. bait, bro. That's so the terrace. That was smart. That was layered. <laughs> that was layered, and that's that's the scary part about Axon's pressure right yeah. here. Yeah, Axon has like kind of your standard universal OD bait on deck right, if he right. needs it. The problem is he don't need it because he's already got like you said he's got the layered setup. Yeah, I think and he can so get pressure too. off that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's so important because like what can Catalina really do? Like you try to DP out, but you have the layer of that butterfly to back you up anyways. Yeah. So you have to find that perfect timing. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, this is where things get dicey, but you let him roll out. Oh, no, that's big trouble. Oh, Bait no. the DP. See, I didn't mean DP right there, Calissa. So hold on. <laughs> you got to listen closer next wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this damage. My goodness, I swear she couldn't do this before. Holy cow. You're going to get chipped here. Callisto is going to have to find a spot. Yeah, that's checkmate. Has to get an overdrive here. It has to. Too far away at this yeah. point. Yeah, it's that, that's checkmate, unfortunately. Um, and are we are we gonna see a quick pair of two O's and like, oh, I don't know. Do it for Big Willie, Callisto. Do it for Big Willie, indeed, indeed. All right, so trying to check the butterfly setup, but Spot Dodge is absolutely gonna kang tank that uh, projectile. Oh, all right, has to hold this rainfall here. Nice, jump back the low this time. There nice it is. EX thrust, really good. I think right, if you're Callisto, that's what you need to look yeah. for now. Is, yeah. is find the spot for that. Because then you're closing the gap, you're shutting down the Oki with butterflies as well. Look at this, especially keeping up in front of the butterfly setups anyways. That removes a whole layer of offense from Axon. And now you have the West Coast blue screen under oh, your control. Beautiful you're stuff, dead. you're done. No, not the, quite, oh, didn't have the meter to convert. Yeah, that's my fault. Respected on Rush, yeah. Yep. All right, still, one good DEXDP will be more than enough for, yeah, there it is, or EX anything. All right, Callisto staying alive. Yeah, that was on reaction. You glowing over there, we glow too. Yep. And Callisto's like low for an old guy. Callisto's really good at doing that. Um, and and Axon's movement is good enough where like he's gonna go for like the cheeky right. throw bait setups where that's what you're gonna need to wait for is Callisto, right. I think. Oh, okay, good blocks. Jump out, actually gets the hit too. All right, I see you, Callisto. Jab check, yep. <laughs> oh. Nice pick up with TP. Overhead does get blocked. Nice. Yeah. Oh, is this it? Is this how? Is this how it starts? It's so scrambly too, and Callisto still in control. Nice skybound arc to wrap it up. There it is. And that he's not. He's like, yeah, my cat's nice. I know. I got the, dev the developer of this game to a minute. No big deal. <laughs> That's true. Did you, you see that? Arise. I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit, yeah. Callisto actually hit uh, hit the devs with uh, with the wake up Callisto. Would love to see it. All right, here we go. Still have to play nice. the zoning game. That's the adjustment I want to see. Start checking that hop. All right, has to hold this butterfly pressure right here. Mm -hmm. Callisto doing a really good job of playing around that spacing, but finally takes a hit. And EX thrust to get in. There's the strike throw game. Okay, Callisto. All right, still remaining plus. Nice anti-air and a what a confirm from Axon Star. They're using the rush Ooh. to get out of the corner, but EXDP will put you right back into that corner, <laughs> Callisto taking advantage of it. That's so risky Stacker right there. Stacker, she has yeah. so many projectiles. Oh my goodness. And so at that range, I guess that does make sense. Axon is really good about playing around that far. They're basically all of Matera's medium button range, right, so right. that does make sense. All right, Butterflies once again. Nice challenge to the EX Fireball, but a big anti-air pickup as well. All right, the rain. Nice hop. Ooh, faking the double overhead, going for the single. Callisto ready for it. Woo! Thrust. Yep, really good. Stagger. Finally opened up low with the 2L. Huge. Yeah, still keeping that pressure. Another 2L right after. Blocked this time Ooh. on the approach, but the rush coming out from Axon Star. Yeah, Callisto very smartly like didn't press a button yeah, coming down. Yeah. One of the few uh, anti airs that are, are air blockable in this game. Damn, there it is. Yo, we're going to final game, final round. Goodness. This is. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of figured we'd end up here, but the the, the momentum shifts we've had so far, right? Kind of wild. <laughs> kind of wild. Kind of sick with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the safe option for Axis Star. Just spot dodge that. Yeah. Don't engage. Now when you're that close to the corner. All right, oh. nice jump back there. Nice ball falling, able to get a confirm and out of the corner, which is important. But a mid screen, DP punish, unfortunately here for Callisto. 
All right, little awkward drop there, but still able to get the butterfly set up and the hit afterwards, and yeah. you still have to hold this pressure. That is going to do it right there. Ooh. Callisto, honestly, playing a really good yeah. game, yeah. Buck. Going to be falling a loser. Still has a big chance here. Um, they, so with, with how stacked we've seen this top 24 so far, oh, yeah. man, we, we saw some great matches. There, There is a gap between the highest tier players in this bracket and some some of the other folks that have snuck in. You know True. what I'm saying? Um, like I when I when I say that, that Wavy and Axon are gonna be in grand finals, like I, I I don't say that lightly. Like I, I believe there is there is a, a pretty significant gap there. Nobody's been grinding that game like those two have continually. A lot of people have like started playing Street Fighter Six, fallen off on other games or just said, well Ryzen's yeah, gonna be a great like, Horizon. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's another big one. Uh, Neo Karsh, I think, could challenge, and I think Callisto is like, I think Neo, Neo Karsh and Callisto are like the only two that can really challenge the two of them. So if we're going to see an upset, I think it's going to be from one of those two. Okay, well, time will tell because it, we exactly. are getting Neo Karsh coming up right now to against see if. Against Rurik, uh, I believe. Yeah, against yep. Rurik to see if uh, Neo Karsh can continue on to have that opportunity to challenge one of them. Because yes. uh, it'll be Callisto and Neo Karsh going up against each other if Neo Karsh can make it past Rurik. So we'll we'll see we'll see who Rurik picks here. Rurik counter picked um, with Belial a couple times, um, mm. and I was talking to him about that because he has a, he has a pretty nice Percy. I'm not gonna right, lie, exactly. Um, like he's 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 not what known for it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he said he's straight up. He's like, yeah, I think my, I think my Percy's more refined, but like if I need to execute and like I'm down. Belial's going to be easier to do in the moment. Old Beliable. Yes, old Belial. Exactly. You, you're, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Old Beliable. <laughs> um, in, in this matchup, though, like, I think you got to be on point. Neo Karsh, like, yeah. OG, really uh, yeah. good fighting and game And that's player. the thing, like, uh, it, almost the exact same story as Callisto, right? When you're going up against a player like Callisto, like yep. Neo Karsh, you have to be on point with every interaction and yes. the stability from Belial, especially with the toolkit that Belial has. I mean, don't get me wrong, Percy, absolutely strong character, right? Oh, but yeah. Belial does have a lot of forward advancing normals that are really strong. Uh, of course, crouch medium is always going to be the bane of any player's existence if they're not watching their ankles. Plus, the setup potential with Pinwheel is huge for this character. Yeah. Um, if you're Rurik 2, I, I, would, I would think twice about trying to counter pick 2. Neo Karsh has three characters that he said going right. in. I'm going to play who I'm feeling in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we saw the Grand already, and the, now we're going to yeah. see the Cheetah. And I, excuse, this has got to be a button check. Am I tripping right now? Do you, Doesn't Rurik have a Vera? No, Rurik, Rurik picked Jita, and that's why I'm tripping right now. Rurik's oh, on the yeah, left side. Yeah, Rurik's on the left side. See, well, on the that bottom, it kind of, so you see how it's reversed? It kind of looks like Rurik is on the Well, that's what I saw, too. I saw the Jita. I'm like, well, it's got to be Neo. No big deal. And now this, I don't know, we'll see. I don't think this is a button check, but maybe maybe we'll see. We'll see what's good here. Hmm. <laughs> Either way, this is going to be a really funny matchup. I think I think Gina yeah. wins this like matchup kind of clean, but again, against Vera, like, yeah. Neo Neokarsh has won a lot of losing matchups before in a it's lot true. of different tournaments, so you, you can never count on Neo. Yeah, that's the thing at this point, you know, Neo Neo Karsh can kind of even zombie move, right? Just play the entire cast anyway, so. Yeah, button check. Yeah, okay. button check. Okay. I feel a lot better about what I just saw then. Okay. That was a little stressful, but we out here now. All right. So I'm wondering if this has got to be like memes on both players, just like picking to, to try to get in their head, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Nobody wants to give anything up yet. Uh, yeah, if you're Rurik, I think you got to pick with who you're most comfortable with right yeah. now. And maybe that means sticking out with Belial, saying, hey, this Belial got me this far. I'm, I'm going to do this. Or maybe it means going back to uh, Percival. Uh, Percival does, I mean, there's two top three characters. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Like, you can't go wrong You can't really go way. wrong. And Percy's solid pick. Like, I can't even think off the top of my head why, like, why is it a bad reason to pick Percy against Gron, right? Like, yeah. both characters like are solid picks against Gron, so you're not going to go wrong either way. Yeah, and I, I think Percy has like kind of more range to pick, but exactly like, the range alone from Percy is big. Yeah. But then on the other side of the coin, Belial has the forward advancing with five eight. <laughs> exactly. So either way, you're and doing the five, five U if you want to play the fireball game with him. Like true. Yeah, yeah. There, there's I don't know. There, there's so many like weird, fun little layers to this game that, right. that always trip me up. Um, and at the end of the day, sometimes the answer is just just play who you're comfortable with. Like deep breath. Oh, don't excellent overthink song. this. Excellent song. Oh yeah. Pervy Angel, <laughs> you watch your mouth, you little one. Oh, did they change it back to Japanese voices? That's crushing. You hate to see it. I changed what? it to English what? voices. What? Yeah. <laughs> Japanese voices are fine. Yeah, but Zom's not here, so somebody had to do it. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is. 
Oh, I keep forgetting this is losers. Man, that's yeah, this crazy. Is losers side. I'm not used to seeing Neil Carson losers. Exactly. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, what is happening? <laughs> so messed up by Whoa. that. All right, big start. Neil Carson yeah. got the pick up as well. The classic, the Michael Jordan. No, this is the Horace Grant now, baby. Horace oh, Grant. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So keep the 90s action. And this is what we've seen from Neo so far. Get yeah. the early hit, carry to the corner, uh, meaty boot, and then just run the game plan. Yep, just um, be a bully. Yeah. And, and I don't know. There, there have only been a handful of players that have been able to make him actually right, deviate right, right. from that. Uber got the start of something going, but it was too little too late. And now Rurik. Okay, all right, Rurik, let's go. As Mogi is coming through. All right, nice <laughs> challenge. Oh, my goodness. That's to There's me. That's the scariest thing about Neo Cards. The footsies are good, yes. but, but uh, he has the sixth sense of when to challenge that is not to be trifled with. Yeah, especially with the five H reach too. There's so much follow up that Grand is capable of there. Ooh. Nice command grab. Wasn't aware. Okay. Ooh, wow. Rurik's usually on point with bait and that. That's okay. Still reset to neutral, and that's gonna do it right there. Ex Asmodeus just barely enough to get the kill. Wow. Okay, yeah, dash Rurik. up light, just keep you guessing here. Especially start fearing the throw because you've already been tossed a couple times, especially command grab here. Yep. And I, I honestly for Rurik to, to throw that out in the first round or second round, excuse me, that's that's a great way to start laying right. the mind game on. The dance began, <laughs> both are rocking at the same time, so fireball will be eaten here. Oh Pamiel, nice roll through that's from uh, Neo Karsh. And there it is, there's the 5U. Okay, close enough where you can get the hit and not have him get baited. The spot dodge. dodge. Yep. Yeah, I'm curious. I, you, you called out the pinwheels earlier. There it is. I, I want to see more of that from exactly. Rurik so far. Yeah. There's so much space control that you're going to have here to push Neo Karsh back into the corner and start maintaining that offense. This is where it gets scary, though. This is yeah. where Neo Karsh lives. Okay, we checked it. Ooh. Yep, take a break here. Just on touch. That's all it takes. It, oh, see, he's so good at giving you like an inch there and then taking that space back. It's so frustrating, yeah. and he's so good at it. And that's dead. That's a cash out, like even with the horrendous scaling this gets, you're still dead. Got the two-step kill, that's for sure. But you're right, like the way Neil Karsh threatens with 5H is so important because it is that check for the opponent. Like even if it doesn't hit, the opponent's like, whoa. Like <laughs> yeah. that was almost my life right there. And then you start taking steps back, that gives the opportunity for Neil Karsh to continue to press. Um, it's gonna get really funny when you start seeing him charge five. You right there, damn! Is he yawning in top it's eight like, too? Oh, this is casual. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, right. He's like, Another man, day. this ain't even gonna get started till top four, bro. I'm, I'm big chilling Just right now. Just another day. Yeah. Uh, for Neil Karsh, though, like, kind of, yeah, like, he, he's made uh, his fair share of top eights over the years. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, Neil Karsh just loves to play the game. Just yeah. as long as they're playing the game, they're having a good time. Big Ooh. pickup. That's huge damage. You're dead for that. Wow, built the meter, didn't even need it. I thought I was going to cash out with the SBA, but no, didn't even need it, fam. That's crazy. Rurik is, like, having some solid answers here. Um, this this dude has come, like, such a long way from the first time I saw that personal, right. and now, right. now we're seeing, like, legitimately competing with Neocars in top eight. Oh, what a wow. shutdown there with the 5H. Ooh, a little awkward drop there. Yeah, yeah. block it. That's nice true. Yeah, just kept pressing it. Wanted to force the issue there. Spot dodge a little bit early there. That allows for the 2 L to connect from Rurik. 5U, yep, too far away to get the Ooh. actual hit that time. So you are minus. Yeah, this is rough right here. Neo Cars is always so good at stealing that corner, too. Yeah. Watch that 5U, too. They Blyle has a hard time contesting that with that projectile. Yeah, because, like, what can you really do? All right. It's almost you want to play a 5U game with him, but obviously right. that, that has way too much risk. Exactly. Like, imagine, it, and it depends on the spacing, right? Because then yep. if you allow Grand to have enough time to recover, you're getting antsy up for sure. <laughs> exactly. And, like, the really good cats definitely know how to punish that. Another one, and that's why I thought that was going to be enough to kill. I am shocked that did a kill. Bait, that's bait, yep. bro. Yep, Easy yep. money. 5 eight. Yeah. Okay. All right, Rurik. I'm not going to lie. Like, I expected Neo to run away with this. I, I, I was not familiar with your game, Rurik, and I apologize. <laughs> I apologize, sir. Yo, all right. Neo Karsh actually dropping a game to Rurik. This is exciting. This is the good shit right here. And don't forget to play Trails Up, apparently. Yo, I want to see it. I want to see it. Counter pick. Do it. He's thinking about oh, it. Oh, that's the think of I, I, I want to see Carolina Are you doing Moore's code to yourself? <laughs> no, it's got to be it's got to be Cheetah, right? He, he needs to pick Cheetah here. Yeah, Neil it's Cheetah. Moore's code to your, to your own brain. <laughs> Tap the nose, Moore's code. Yeah, yeah. Do this. Exactly. Do this. He's, he's messaging, to, messaging to Paco at home like, bro, who am I picking right now? What's good? 
Shout out to Gandito, by the way. Wasn't able to make it out, unfortunately, but we miss you, brother. Hopefully we see you soon. Oh, bless you, sir. Yeah. All right. Nope. Sneeze attacks for me. My bad, y'all. <laughs> it's all good. It's that time of year again, for sure. All right. So this is the counter pick. With the Michael Jordan is officially in the house. Um, this is... I think this is the character that Neo's made it the farthest with um, over the course of this game, if I remember correctly. Um, somebody, somebody call me out on Twitter if I'm wrong about that, because I am legitimately curious. But I think this is this is uh, this is typically the way for Neo. Um, and I, I think this is a better matchup against Kawhi. So you know, I'm, I gotta I gotta respect the pick. Yeah, I'll be honest, I, I'm used to seeing Neo cards on Gita now more often than Gron ever. Yeah. So. There it is. Oh, spot dodge. Almost caught by the follow-up there, but yep. we were picking the wrong one. Mess around, find Ooh. out with the cross medium. Nice pick up Asmodeus here to press back into neutral. Spot dodge over the five inches. Good call here from Neokars. You can usually get a punish on that. Awkward exactly. timing. Like that's that could have been bad. Exactly. That's a threat. Ooh, another scary oh. whiff. Five U, okay. Yeah, catching that back dash there from Ruich. Super jump out and gets the whiff punish. That's this is what I'm saying. What this dude has a solid fundamental game yeah. plan. All right, so I almost want to see. No, we're not going to see Medio D. Yep, use it to call out the throw. I like that. Rurik out, but Ooh. yeah, you can't. Yeah, and I think Rurik knew that too. Didn't land with a button. Avoid the counter hit combo. Yep. Okay, okay, got the throw. Nice yeah, back that's shift. Action. That's like almost fine if you're Belial now. Yeah. Okay, you're mid-screen, fine. Fine, here's for the pinwheel, bro. <laughs> exactly. Don't have to worry about Chip right here. And you can see Neo's functional Woo! on that. That's it, money. Rurik, is this set point for Rurik against the Neo cars? Ooh, okay. Got to start catching those sound cues, right? Every single time EX command grab comes from Belial, that's your warning. Like, you can hear the sound first before you can really recognize the action. Get up on that. Oh, no. Yeah, that's going to be big damage right here. Say goodbye to 50% of your life. And that's going to build a ton of meter right there. Look at this. Gets the optimal ender, too. Gets caught pressing. Not going to kill, but you, you, you got one more hit left in you. Say la vie, says uh, Belial after the miss. Give me some sugar. <laughs> Most have there. It's a is. rush. Wow. All right. Well, once again, we're going to final game, final round. Let's go, dude. It's a heartbreaker no matter which way you go about it here, too. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's hard, too, because, like, Neo's come so close in a lot of these tournaments. Like, yeah. you want to yeah. see him win yeah. one of these, but, like, I also love seeing this new blood come up and give him a challenge, exactly. you know? <laughs> oh, that's a whiff punter. That's yeah. good footsies oh, right there. Absolutely. Nice position from Rurik there. Crouch medium still cannot press. That's plus. Mad plus. All right, got our stacker. All right, checking with it. Yeah. Ooh, and you can... Excellent spot dodge though from Neocars, right? Yeah. That punish that we're looking for. All right, stagger in the corner one more time here. Crouch medium is, oh. That's, no, back you need to, to reset. Back. Yeah. All right, so no this isn't way. gonna kill, but next hit, this is next hit for both players. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, oh, no way. Real input, that's dead. Animation? Oh, God, I think that's it. No, we live in, we live in. A hair, oh, I love it when I'm wrong. Let's go, all right, we got a chance. Money, yeah. I think he woke up with a command grab. I, 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 I really think Five he woke up with a command grab. Up. Well, and like, think about it, right? Like, obviously, what are you gonna do? Wake up with buttons, wake up with DP? Okay, I'm gonna hold that. Okay, you're, yeah. you're gonna, I think you're gonna block and wake up command grab, which, like, I respect the mind game from Ruick. Yeah. I definitely respect the mind game, like, props to you for making a read and going for it, but this is Neo Cars, bro. I mean, yeah, that's a hard <laughs> situation to put yourself in. You are a chip away from death, and Gina just needs a, a sliver, anything, sliver. really. Look, yeah. I'll come in Rekka, I'll come in press, but what do you want me to do? I'm going to chip away anyways. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that wake up, just run up, crouch, light kick, as uh, it's a hard guessing situation by that point from Gita alone, because we've been seeing Neo Kars represent all options that Neo, uh, that yeah. Gita has available to them. Uh, but oh no. Prada's coming up with the Cagliostro cosplayer. Up. Yo, we, we got it. Can we, can we get the, the power the... up? Yeah, 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 there it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's the power up Prada needs right there. And I think it'll be facing off against Monarch too. So this yeah. is going to be a funny yeah. matchup. So Monarch, for, for, for all y'all youngins that weren't playing this game when this game came out, Monarch was pushing a lot of the early Lancelot tech. I like low key learned how to play this character from watching like Omniscythe at Tegavods and Monarch yes. Twitter tech. Like like that is how I learned how to play this game. So um, it is it is so good to see Monarch not only coming out again but still performing and doing it with a different character. Now we have um, I think it's Matera. I think he's been rocking Matera all weekend, which like 
I kind of get it. Um, I think she she's benefited. Good. She's yeah. good now. It's so weird to say that, but she she benefited from the system mechanics, the new system mechanics. Yeah, drive, yeah. Rush. Uh, drive Rush. Drive <laughs> Rush. Regular yeah, Rush, yeah, excuse yeah, yeah. me. But play too much Street Fighter. Uh, rush, back shift, overdrive. Um, in, in, in like some like truly unique ways, you know what yeah. I mean? Well, that's the thing is just like, for a while, it was just watch out for the Cagliostro players. Yes. And then it evolved after the Rush implementation. Watch out for the Matera players because yep. look at how quickly you build up meter with Matera nowadays as compared yeah. to where she did it before um, and how important it is to build up meter quickly to get those tools available to you. Yeah. It's it's not inconceivable that you can get like three to five rushes or backshift a game, which is yeah. wild. Yeah. Um, and, or my favorite is like three rushes in SB, SBA. Like that's, I, I tilt pretty hard when I lose those games, that's but it'd be uh, like that. <laughs> excellent meter management right there. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the scary thing about these top level Matera players. Like they yeah. all share tech with each other. They all communicate. Um, and, and they all know how to optimize and manage their resources. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. so special. It's so important for Matera too anyways, because yeah. you're always watching. Because we all know that the overdrive, or excuse me, Skymount heart from uh, Matera is, you know, a little bit iffy. You don't yeah. usually see routing for that because it doesn't drop. Yeah. So why bother using it when I can use it for rush concurrence, when I can use it for overdrive setup as well, too? Like, you get so much more utilization out of those additional uh, tools than using it for the big damage from uh, Skybound Heart. All right, we're going to get right into it. This is an awkward matchup for Cagliostro, and Prada has, again, counterpicked previously. But, like we said oh. earlier, been putting in the work, and it is starting to show. That's what I want to see. And look at that damage, yeah. Especially once those portals are active, she has so much damage on the table. Yeah. Great Abare there from Monarch. Back shift, that's the Prada special uh -oh. right there. Yeah, it has to hold this kept it safe with the Hex as well. <laughs> All right, nice jump out. I'll try to go for Anti over too little, too late. We're already grounded. Quick tech. That's, five that's a really smart 5L because not only did it take out the Hex, but also stop the movement from Prada. Exactly. Oh, but still, far medium, still a great yeah, button right yeah. there. <laughs> you can see Prada on reaction, just, just ready to buffer that rush in. So and, ready. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, yeah. And see, this is the downside about stepping away from the game. Like, a lot of the cats that have still played for a while know how to play against Cagliotro. Yeah. I don't know what Monarch's experience what that looks like. True. But I mean, it, you know, your fundamentals have taken you so far, especially, you know, look at where Monarch is at now. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, that's the second crouching hit that Monarch's got off that. I, I think Prada's going for the anti-air there and just getting stuffed. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Call on the teleport. Okay, so we have some matchup knowledge. I'm sorry, I, I, I doubted your game, Monarch. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. Right, Again? In. Do I have three? That's gonna hit, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, full yeah. animation, there it is. Monarch keeping it interesting here. All right, let's go. Man, that's crazy. Probably, I, I'm assuming, just came back from like running to house in uh, BBCF Top 32, and now is here in Grand Blue Top 8. Yo, there we go. This dude is so good. All right, final round in game one. Whoa. <laughs> that's the 5H, wasn't it? Uh, 2H even, which oh, like, 2H. you, you oh, got to yeah, be careful about the dragon that. entirely. Yeah. Like, I knew it was a heavy something. It came out so fast, yeah. too. Like, I, oh my goodness. It, that's like low key a great way to get your opponent to uh, to, to blink if they see the, the yeah. two H you go to punish and you cancel. It's it's great to get people unaware. Oh no! I still trouble. picked it up. Yep. Crazy Prada. Prada. Yeah. Prada situational confirmed game is yeah. like kind of nice. Except, oh, I dropped it. Psych. Psych. Yeah. And look at this healthy right here. You got overdrive. Like you're big chilling on the chip yeah. game, which is like one of Matera's strengths. So. Oh. Wow. All right, there it is. Yeah, Prada nod and like, yeah, I'll take that trade every day of yeah, the week. All no time. big deal. All the time. Man. Yeah, but you're right. Going for that overdrive to continue to zone against Matera, you force Matera to have to approach you and actually apply some sort of close range pressure. All right, trying to close the distance early. Prada jumping over, getting in on the uh, butterfly set there. Monarch is like kind of ready with the Abara though. Right. Okay. All right. Oh, there it is. Back at you. Yeah, yeah. trying to catch the tech throw. Yeah, got the counter hit there, but not able to get the full conversion. That is unfortunate, and that's a punish right there. Straight oh, up, drop the combo. Yeah, that's tough. Should have been an easy 5-H, but a counter hit overhead. All right, yeah, let's that's... go for the Super Skybound art. I don't think that's going to kill. Yeah, no. that, that kind of does dog water damage compared to the SSBA, but that's okay. Monarch's still in a really bad spot. Either going to have to find a spot to OD or seriously consider worrying about this chip damage. Yes, indeed. To you. Money. All right. Great range button, and yeah, Prada can instantly cancel that into uh, yeah. traps, and I think only like be safe off that too, which is crazy. Oh, all right, nice jump in though. Wow. Once you're not connecting, and yeah, Monarch's still able to steal it back. 
I think Monarch's adjusting to the fact that he's not winning like the guest tech game. So right. he's just challenging when he thinks the throw is coming, which, you know what? I can respect that. There's the teleport. Yup. True block string that time. Eat this chip damage. Hold it. Block the overhead. Ooh. Trying to check something right there. Either that or misinput go for an overhead of their own. Monarch. Gonna get some space here, but you, you gotta take that space back now. Still yeah, back to the corner, like one good trap set away from being in a lot of trouble here. Prada eats the 2 you. Oh no. Alright, there's the overdrive. Overdrive, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My bell <laughs> interrupt. A couple traps right above here. Has to back away. Try to get that 2H pop up. Or the spear pop up, excuse me. Yo, I think Prada's oh. key. Oh, that's it. You're dead. That's it. Wow. Money in the bank, there it is. Clean 2-0. Oh no, 2-1, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, one of the big things I think that Prada was really able to capitalize there at the end is keying into the fact that Monarch had a really strong ground game, uh, but one of the things that was that was kind of missing from his game that we see from a lot of the other Materas is a very, very strong understanding of when to 2-H and when, or 1-H, 3-H, like, Matera can anti-air you at different angles coming down. Um, right. And, and, and Monarch, Monarch didn't seem like they were ready for that. Like, very strong ground game, but that was that was the, the one component. Game. Yeah, yeah, that was very huge. I'm glad you brought that up because even in the first yeah. game, it was just all right. Antier, oh no, you're over. Antier, I yeah. can't hit the target. Like yeah. that's that's so crucial because she could definitely, like you said, get so much off of that. As long as you bring Kakalosha back down, there's so much opportunity for you to juggle after the fact, yeah. or even just set up butterfly situation too that you could catch the opponent on top of that. So, it's really yeah. unfortunate that we didn't have those antiers on point because I think you're right. Like that would have been critical. Even in that last situation where like Prada went, used basically traps as an air stall. Yeah. Um, like like you you wouldn't have spoken by that for free. Like yeah. a lot of characters have to respect that because you commit to the two H, you get yeah. baited, blah blah yeah. blah. Nah, Materas goes straight yeah, up. Like I don't know. That that's one of those scary things. Like if if Mana wants to keep playing this game and he develops that, he's yeah. going to be a killer in this game up there with the rest of these Matera players because he showed some very good stuff. Yeah, there. and that's the thing. Like, it's this is the warm-up period leading into Rising. So, yeah. folks, that I kind of put down the game. Okay, let's come back. Just get warmed up. Used to the idea of Grand Blue before we go off. Yes! Full swing. We're seeing it. Yo. The, I, I didn't want to say it ahead of time, but this is what I wanted to see. Like, this it's, is... The camera just dropped. The camera dropped. <laughs> on a shot. Oh, all right. So, where we... There it is. All right. We are going to see the Catalina Mirror Match, at least for game one here. This is like, these are the two OG Catalina players. Um, not a lot of players stuck with this character once she once she right. uh, took a couple bullets to the kneecaps. E exactly. In season one, so. Um, which these, is crazy, these like that out. damage output is still there for yeah. Catalina too. I mean, the route just changed just ever so slightly yeah. and then folks was like, ah, that's it. This is not my Catalina. Not my Catalina. All right, well, Meanwhile, let me show Callisto you at this Catalina the wine people. mixer from uh, <laughs> Step brothers? From Callisto. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, what I want to see from Callisto in this game is uh, wake up sweep into SSBA. Oh. Um, that's, I, I, or sometime this tournament. Callisto, we deserve that. We yeah, deserve that. The classic. Okay. The classic. Yeah, and they're playing very similar color palettes, too. It's going to be Callisto with the uh, the blue cape, it looks like. Neo Karch with the gray. Yep. All right, jump over. No punish on either side. Pretty good spacing there. This is going to be, we might see a timeout here, actually, if we don't see the yeah, hits. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, they're both going to be so careful because they both know that they're going for the, the big hit, right? The big counter hit. We're trying to wait for one other person to make the mistake because they both jockey for position. They're very whip punish heavy characters. And they both understand risk reward at a level two yeah, where, it's, like, it's, eh, they're, they're, I think they're both going to play a safe game until yeah. they really don't have to. Here we go. Nice throw. Right. Yeah, and even this, like, Ooh. take, oh, that could have been tragic. You might have died from that if, if, if Callisto was ready. Wow, all right, still anybody's Big. game. Yeah, that's that 2-H. Right, nice. you, you do not see Leo Karsh jump at people like that. Like, I'm, that's wow. Not at all. Ooh, okay, rush confirmed. Yep, wall bounce. There it is. Wow, all right, maximizing that hit, spending every cooldown, even utilizing the white wall right there. Callisto taking a... Honestly, like, that was convincing enough for round yeah, one. Yeah. Like, we're still in download mode of this Riz, uh, this set right now. But. Exactly. And again, it's that dance and neutral that they're both really feeling each other out. Yeah. Taking as much as they can off of a single significant strike. They have to try to convert. Even after off the minor strikes like this right here, that's a good stepping stone for Callisto to maintain that corner position. Oh, what a whiff wow. punish, Callisto. Yeah. My goodness. Nice. Spend it all on that DP. Yeah. <laughs> that close to the corner, too. Like, yeah. if you got that better, do it a time. <laughs> All right, Latex, nice. DP again, yup. 
And I mean, you need to in this game. Like, you, you have to offer some answer to your opponent's pressure. Like, that is that is going to be part of the mind game at this point. Oh! Oh, no, that had to have been a miss input. I think he wanted fireball right there, but right. that's how it be. Oh, Neo Karch. All right, holding on to the life lead right here, utilizing the plus frames of this rush and still playing the control game. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Giving up a little oh, space. No anti here. Surprise. Ooh. Just let the jump in happen, but still got to throw. Significant. No! Nope. No, no. Dropped the far L right there. And yeah, Calera, Neo Karch knows. Spot dodge hit that. Yeah, wiping off the hands. That was a big miss input right there. Yeah, that is yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's a kind of universal cash out um, for, for most players, or most characters in this game. 2L, 2L, 5L. You saw 2L, 2L cash out. Just missed that input. That is so unfortunate. Yeah. Crushing way to lose that. Oh, oh nice. we got too far away that time. Brother. That sucks. Is, is Callisto nervous? I mean, <laughs> I don't think so at this point. That's but true. also, yeah. like, this is, this is like, I, I wouldn't have had Callisto and Neo Karsh, like, this early in losers. I ain't going to lie. Right, right. Like, yeah. Big EX, too. All right, nice jump in and open up. Spend it. Neo Karsh should be taking this here. It does one all in the set. Wow. That was, oh, wow. I, I must have blinked and missed the first game, bro. That's <laughs> crazy. All right, one apiece here, then. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, there it is. All right. I, I, at this point, like, I don't know. I don't know if the answer is going to be, like, slow it down or, like, try, try to get a read on yeah, a habit. Yeah, like, 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 I feel like you're really trying to find your opponent's tendencies here in this yeah. matchup. But, like, neither of them are really giving up a whole lot. They're really kind of testing each other's patience. And they're both so good at adjusting, too. It's yeah, like, yeah. even when you do, you have to understand that, that like, there's going to be layer two. Very fast. Yeah, really trying to get into that maximum range with the counter poke here. Nice 5 out follow up. Yeah, Neo Karsh doing a pretty good job of just taking the small right. hits right here and resetting to neutral. Recognizing, yes, I'm winning in neutral. When I get close, I'm getting pressed on. And, like, I'm not always ready for that. So I, I think. Oh, all right, there's the stagger. One of the scariest parts about Neo Karsh's game is his ability to use the movement to trick you into thinking it's time to press a button, um, tech a throw, stand yeah. block. It's. Ugh. This is very standard in this game in particular too, right? Just to go for the staggers because that's how you get a ton of your frame traps. It's just a fighting game fundamental that you should really develop in uh, a game like Grand Blue versus. Yeah, for sure. Neo Car sitting on pretty comfortably on set point right here. Callisto trying to fight his way back, burning that EX uh, fireball cooldown right there. A little early. Oh no, giving up a lot of space. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good answer here. Oh my goodness, you pressed off that? That's. That's ballsy, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Whoa! All right, so we got the pushback thanks to overdrive setup. Man, this is still anybody's game, but that is gonna be a punish. Absolutely. Has to uh, at least think about being this overdrive right now, but Neil Karsh is not one to do it recklessly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why right there. Why yeah. why do it when you could just cash out and win the set? You know? <laughs> Easy as Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Right? I mean, that was a game. Oh, right. Quite a game between these two, especially just a true test of patience in both players' neutral style. Um, really, again, jockeying for position, reaching out with a very minor poke that's really safe, but we often saw that Neo Karsh was really trying to challenge that spacing, really trying to whip punish on a lot of those normals. A lot of times Neo Karsh was right, it's just the hurt boxes weren't exactly overlapping correctly to get the whip punish. Yep. And at the end of the day, we still saw that the consistency came out through Neo Karsh over uh, Callisto in this particular set, but both players, I mean, extremely defensively sound players like it was a job well done but uh, unfortunately only one can come out on top in this set yeah that's the downside when you see a match like that it's like man i want both these cats yeah to move both on. you should like, be because they both were tooth and nail for every inch they got yeah. in that set and callisto too like i know callisto's won this top eight for a long time and yeah. like yeah. you know what like fifth place still ain't bad like especially considering who we had to play against right right like, right that like you you lost to two people who are probably going to be top three and by probably, I mean I'll eat my own oh, phone if they don't get top three. <laughs> if top three is an accent wavy Neo Karsh, I will. I will. No, I'm not going to commit to that because yeah, you, yeah. you might need that phone. I might need that yeah, phone yeah, later. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. I, I do have to get home at some point. All right. So up next is uh, supposed to be uh, you. So no, you no, we, we skipped that. There. We skipped that. Well, I was supposed I'm to play Monarch. Supposed to get up there right now. No, you should be. You no, should. No, 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 no. I already asked them to mic me up Bronson Tran style. Keith laughed at me and said, "So we're not going to do that." Uh, and I'm like, "Well." That makes sense. I don't blame you because I wouldn't trust me to do that either, to be honest. So listen, here's how I'm going like to body maniac. my opponent right now, baby. No, I would just be screaming like a maniac the entire time. <laughs> oh, my God. And every, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So one of my favorite things, you, um, I don't know if you ever watched um, LTP play Phone On in Uni. I feel like I have. It's been a minute. I, I think it might not have been LTP. I think it was. One of the only thing I remember is going to locals, watching him play Blade, and every time he got hit, I just the most like ear piercing, cackling laugh of his life. Like, and I, I, I stopped and I had to think, and I'm like, that, I, like that would get in my head so fast. That's what I'd I would be do. I'd be very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. And like, then all of chat would be uncomfortable too. So they were like, nah, man, we can't let you do that. The, the commentary booth would be silent. What is that laugh? What's happening here? Are they okay? <laughs> no. Excuse me, are you okay? The answer's no, definitely. All right, so I don't want to say I called this winner's finals, y'all, but I called this winner's finals. Yeah, um, wavy action star for this winner's finals here in top four. Uh, is the lineup, yeah, because yeah. Neil Karsh and Prada were sitting in the loser semis, of course. <laughs> That's actually going to be a really good game. Um, so I would, they were running casuals. Yeah. Prada had the edge in casuals. Um, but, 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 Neil was running Horace Graham. Uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't see the cat. We didn't see the Michael Jordan, I don't think. It was pretty exclusively Grand. So we Woo! might see a counter pick, um, or we might see Neil Karsh, uh, you know, uh, key into that experience mm -hmm. and uh, all the, the 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 optimal tournament play and just make it happen. But before we do any of that, we got to get this winners finals going. Um, so I call these two get in here, but I have no clue who's going to win. This could go either way. Right. Both of these players have been doing a phenomenal job of pushing the limit on what these characters can do, um, re respectively. Like I believe Wa Wavy beat Zom at Combo Breaker to win that, right? Am I am I totally tripping out, or am I am I remembering that correctly? That's right, because. Zom went down at uh, Combo Breaker, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like that was like, that's the cool thing about this tournament too. It's, it's you got, you got a lot of the old cats here, but ever since the start of the year, we've started to see this new guard come in. Like, it's new trend. Yeah, yeah, like, like um, Neil like, Karsh and Callisto, they were good in other games. This is, I think this is Wavy's like first game that she's been really, really good at. Wait a minute, are you saying the old folks are getting old? I'm, that's kind of what I'm saying, bro. As, oh. a, as, a, as a man who just turned 30, that's definitely what I'm saying. <laughs> are we getting old? I'm getting old. Jeez um, Louise. But yeah, I mean, it's really interesting to see that tale, like the new guard coming through, the new blood. Like, yeah. it's no longer just the, oh, well, back in my day, it is like, no, this is our day. This is our time. And especially at the end of the life of like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus yeah. and this version of the game, to see these new cats still right, coming out. Here, yeah, still like grinding it out. You you love to see it. And I'm, tons, I'm a big fan. Tons of games like the, the labor of love games, much like Grand Blue in their community, our community, um, is very much like that. Where the new blood does see a lot of success because the guard that was there set up the tools and gave the resources for these new players to very easily pick up the game and learn so much from those trials and tribulations yeah. that they are that much faster at being able to get to those optimal levels of play. Yeah, we're, we're going to see how it turns out for Rising. Uh, but it uh, looks like we're wrapping up this button check. Yeah, here we go. All right. All right, so friendly reminder, this is going to be a first to three. Um, yes. And this is going to be, if this doesn't go the distance, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to be real. Like, this, th these are two cats. I've said this a million times. Very strong adjustment game on both sides. Um, right. they, they've played each other enough, admittedly, online to uh, have at least a sense of their tendencies. But they're also both strong enough offline where I think this is going to be a very fun match. Um, yeah. I've been looking forward to seeing this all weekend. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We have Belial up against uh, Matera again. Of course, uh, Belial does have a lot of excellent tools. Got to contend with some of the zoning from Matera and also make uh, it very difficult for Matera to be able to set up in those zoning situations too. So. Definitely an interesting pick. Um, okay, that's what I thought. All right. I heard you say Belial, but my brain didn't believe you for some reason. He did believe me. I, I like, and I get that. Like, this is, this is, in my opinion, definitely a better matchup against yeah. Matera than Cagliostra is. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I, it, if, if we see like Axon go up in early two games, I think we're gonna see the Cagliostro. Not, not to. Woo! The yeah. dash and a roll to avoid the air shot. Nice pickup as well with the EXS uh, oh pinwheel into EXS. Modius, Woo! good stagger to throw. This is the flip side. Wavy's Belial is really good. Don't let me downplay it. Like, Wavy Hold is up. still solid. Yo, Hold that's up. it. Cash out. Might not even need it. Money. Money. Hello? Yeah. Wavy is really good at, like, Putting putting the the, the 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 giant anvil on top yeah, of your mental yeah, stack yeah, yeah. and saying, yeah, try to balance that. Good luck. I have fun. What? <laughs> Did that just okay? Y'all need to clip that for me because I need that. To you. Wow. Okay. Exp the cross uh, jump medium kick. 
doesn't even need it. Still gets the throw from Asmodeus in corner position once again is in the favor of Wavy. Nice stagger, stagger 5L over and over again. It's a 5H, are you kidding me? Wavy. I can. I'm okay, For forget anything I said about actually going up two games quick. Wow! It, that was... <laughs> Axon didn't get a full combo either either what? game. Hey, look at look at Wave. Yes. Wave is just like, yeah, I'm big chilling, whatever. This is another day in the workplace for me. I've done this before. You can I hold that kick. You can hold that one. Yeah, exactly. Again, oh my goodness. Yeah, Wave and Wave is played against like not just Axon too, but enough of the Matera players to have a very good understanding oh. of what they want to do. And look that's the this. big one right there. Check the Zephyr. Yeah, the medium five out. Look at the five muted bait take control. This is overwhelming. Almost impossible for Axon to start to get up because what reversal? None. Yeah, nothing for me. What are you gonna do? Rush? Huh? No, not against this guy. Uh, I mean, maybe, but like 99%, you don't even have SBA yet. Walk up DP, excuse me! What? Okay, you know, no, that's cool. You're sick. Okay. Dude, I, I, I don't know what to say. Call an ambulance. I'm, I'm tripping out right now. Call the security. Oh, that was actually a god tier neutral jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look what does Axon do? What does Axon do? Oh, Axon has challenge. to start switching the rhythm up, and this oh, is what yeah. we're seeing. Wake up, press it. Hell yeah. All right, there we go. Jump in one more time. This is how we get the ball rolling here. Axon star, not out of this yet. All right, gotta watch the five U right here, because that will get you out. No, that's gonna do it. Rush confirmed. Absolutely. Really Has to burn a really cooldown. Good. We cool with that. Okay, okay. Stop finally stopping the momentum a little bit here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Before you ran away with it, don't get shut out. Yeah. Oh my yeah, when you All go right. down three rounds yeah. real fast like that, that's but honestly. Oh. This yep. is what we see from Axon Star too. I think we saw this a crossover too. Like Axon is prone to like taking a couple rounds to adjust, especially offline. Once that style did though, it's big trouble. Yeah, stood up for a couple seconds there, but didn't stay standing to block that overhead. Nice pickup, EX has buddy is corner carry. All right, nice throw. One more, got the tech. Oh, Yo, you're yeah. Dressing. Stack it. That's the thing. You are not getting wavy out of this corner. Axon Star needs help. Back shift. That's it. Smothered. That's two. That's yo, and, look, and like look, look, like Wavy, like ah, uh, you can see Wavy thinking about that a little bit, but also she's like, nah, I'm sick with it. I know, I am that girl. Like that's me. Wow. I I was so excited to see like a CAD clinic, and we we are getting a Belial masterclass. Yeah, right absolutely. Now. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Nice jump in setup as well. Yup, there it is. Every that's what I'm saying. The action five you. Especially if you clear the, 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 the butterflies first, like that you can't get punished if you don't, yeah, but not nah, nah, way be sick with it. All right, that's five base two and nice that's pick up version. the XS Modius. Going to carry over to the corner here. Oh! Wow! Yeah, rush confirm, off to drop. Far. Can't get punished, but you know they're going to go for it. So what do you do? What? You do the reversal. So smart from Wavy. Wavy just knows. Yep, nice rush. Yo! Yeah, EX, chip. Piece. Okay, I respect it. That's not yeah, going to kill. Really tried. And like low key, once that comes back, Wavy could theoretically chip with the uh, DP. Do it again. Yeah. This that's should be dead. It. This should be dead. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Woo. Okay. All right. Oh, I was wow. getting nervous for a little bit this there. This could be really bad, really fast. I, I would be pretty tilted if Axe baited the DP and got chipped for it. <laughs> that, that would tilt Imagine. me so hard. <laughs> oh, we've definitely seen that before. Oh, oh yeah. Probably oh, online, yeah. but like, man. All right. Here we go. Axe are trying to put a game up on the board here in Winners Finals. Finally getting the hit. Yeah, you can see. I think that was the start of a 2 h right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Butterfly Big coming up, in. dissipating. Yeah. And here we go. Oh, no, caught meaty. Caught trying to jump out, it looked like. That's interesting. Yeah, good good uh, interaction on the Clash right there. My arrows right. are fast yeah. enough. Really good back throw here to set up. Ooh, trying yep. to go for that rush. Nice spot dodger. Back to back, too. Ow. You'll be able to get that follow up here to continue the pressure. The there wave it is. is. No, not enough to kill. Out. There it will. Yeah, the meeting. Okay. There it is. So, th honestly, this is a great position for Wavy. You, you still, like, yeah, you just lost the game, but, like, great. You have another buffer, and then you yeah, can still yeah, go back yeah. to CAG if you want to. Yeah, going to go on a rematch. It's too wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about these intense sets like that. You forget, like, oh, what's the set count? Have we been playing? I think I'm winning, but I don't remember by Just how much. Just want you to know. Uh, am I winning? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wavy already back in there. 
Yo, and you can see Axon like not going for Ooh. some of these anti airs too. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Jump back, got the shot after the 5 H whiffs entirely. Hold this butterfly pressure again. And I love the 5 L press, but unfortunately, Wavy with that spot dodge there, able to get the challenge. Nice jump in. There it is. All right. Command grab landing. Yup, there's that 2 H trap again. Axon ready for it, but not ready to take that throw. Back throw into the corner. Little, little execution there for Wavy. Wow. All right, can't be perfect all the time. Watch the double overhead, though. That's bait. She was ready. You were ready for that? Yo, you're sick. Let's go. That okay. Was insane. That was, that was, yeah, I thought for sure she was holding that in the corner, but the ability to have the opportunity to spot dodge. Wavy taking it on. That was so funny. I'm, yeah. I'm a believer right now. I said before, like, this could go either way. I'm a Wavy has made me a believer. See? Just DP out, bro. Just DP out. No big deal. It's easy. One button. Wavy is activated right now, my goodness. Nice rush confirmed here from Axon Star. Big opportunity, but the brush and avoids oh, the butterfly entirely. Like, yeah. great navigation for Wavy. Wait, oh, Wavy's managing that meter in a way that's like playing around how Axon uses it. Missing the 2H. Has to go for the reset, didn't have enough resources. Oh, oh no, one of the rush confirmed. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. have the resources, sorry. All right, stagger pressure again, 50% life. Nice rush. Okay, one more hit for Wavy here, yep. The X projectile nice nice most of them. Yeah, there it is, okay. Yeah, no, it's it was tough. a good check, it was a good check. Yeah. So this is still set point for Wavy, but Axon, Axon could tie this up with honestly just a few good reads. And yeah. that's the scary thing about this matchup. Axon not out of this. Yeah, trying to roll there is a little bit difficult anyways, because you have far less time to react, obviously, right? Because like you're yeah. right from the opponent, so. That cut shot's really hard to dodge there, but nice DP to carry oh. to the corner once again with throw. Do it again. Stagger pressure. Try to wait for Axon Star to crack, but the Money. jump install, the double jump from Axon Star to avoid it. I always say that's the layer one for Matera yeah. is can you deal with Zephyr? If you can't, that's you. You've already lost. Wavy proving she could do it right here. Oh, check with the five A. All right. Oh, we rush those rushes. You know what it is? Di moment. <laughs> All right, one more. Command grab, text the throw. Has to start thinking about chip. Action start not going to have oh. overdrive available. Gets yeah, a hit, though. Throw. Yo, the chip. Money. Wavy. Moving on to grand finals. Yo, yeah, you see that smile right there? Yeah. That was a hell of a winner's finals, bro. Like, not, not as close as I thought it was going to be. Right. But also not the character choice. I, thought it was I mean, be. yeah, was Ow. not expecting the Belial. Uh, but even still, just the pinpoint accuracy Wavy had on that entire set. Like, Whole Jesus. Yeah. Axon had just no opportunity to even run any sort of set play until the, <laughs> the third game. <laughs> third game, you finally get a turn? Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that's like, the really strong players in this game have that kind of layer one that like lets them blow through pools players pretty right, quick. Right, right, But it's a strong layer one for a reason. So even at a high level, you still got to prove you know how to deal with it. Yes. You still, you still got to prove you know how to adjust around it. Absolutely. Axon did a pretty good job, all things considered. It was, just, I think, it was a little too little, too late. Um, and the fact that Belial is arguably one of the strongest characters in the game and can play very reactionary against most oh, yeah. of this cast. And so. can follow up on so many of his normals, anyways, too. Like there's yeah. so much possibility off of stray hits and the follow-up possibilities that Belial has, especially when they route just into Asmodeus alone, um, whether it be off a of sweep with 2U or even just the 5H. Like, we saw so many confirm options from Wavy that really shows how Belial can just be successful in this game. All right, so here we go. Prada, Prada's going to do her absolute best to uh, make me eat my words, saying Neo's going to make top three. Um, but I don't know. This, this could be another very chaotic set right here. Neo Karsh. Neo Karsh knows how to play against Cagliostro. Has definitely played against Zombie Moo enough um, to have right. a very deep right. understanding of this matchup. Um, but at the same time, like, Prod has been very continually grinding this game over, over yeah. pretty much the last year and has only taken very short breaks, which, if we're being honest, like, you should do that with any game you're grinding. It's right, the healthy right, thing right. to do. Like, but, like, Consistent you, is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know? because you lose out in your bad habits if you take a break for a while. Yes. Like, your muscle memory is going to be fine and maintained, but when you come back, you might find that you're executing far better than you ever did before because you've lost all your bad habits. Like, those are just gone. They're not ingrained. I used to joke, every time I stop playing Dragon Ball, I get much better at that game. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here it is. So this is going to be our final first to two of the night. This is Prada versus Neo Karsh for the right to go fight Axon Star.
right? Yeah, yeah, True. Yeah, yeah, top three. Uh, oh, my I do goodness. love the camera shot that we had where it was focused on Action Star for a moment in the background watching over both yeah. of them. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, so that's the scary thing about Action. Axon, this isn't the first time that Axon has lost in winners' finals and running back in Grands. Oh. And now you know he's going to be watching this. He's going to be hungry. Um, and Axon, Axon has the has the stuff to make it happen. Oh, but indeed. Well, right now we got we got the tried and true here from Neil Karsh. That Catalina is in the building. That's that two H bait I was talking yeah. about earlier with the air stall. Very very strong option. I do like the jump back uh, L from uh, Neil Karsh. Shut down the aerial hex as well. Yeah. It's very important. Huge part of Check and Tag yeah. Show's game plan is making sure that you can deal with traps fast and effectively. Yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We stick with it, we stick with it. Absolutely, able to steal that out here. Nice throw. Close heavy punish, and again? Okay, able to confirm that, and there it is. That was that was a Neo Cars round right there. Wear him down, cash out, hit him with the good stuff. And it, I'm going to be real, like, as much as I love seeing the Horace Grant and the Michael Jordan, <laughs> like, this this is the OG for Neo Karsh. Absolutely. If, if Neo Karsh wins a tournament, I want it to be with Catalina. Like, okay. th there, there, is a, there is a nostalgia value to this for sure. <laughs> oh, excellent attack on the throw. That was a reaction, too. Hell, yeah. Woo! Back at you, though. All right. All right. Nice. Late tech, though. Yeah, that's 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 good. Honestly, though, um, if you're if you're Neo Karsh, you see product quick teching, you're gonna start layering the uh, the uh, throw bait with the overhead, basically. Um, Prada has had issues with that in the past, so it wouldn't surprise me if Neo Karsh tries to capitalize on that, but has to set that mind game first. Has to get the conditioning. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, right, nice. too close to anti air. Yeah, excellent teleport there. All right, got a low hex here. Five H, hold that. Try to bring it back into the other hex, but the challenge with two M from Neo Karsh really shut down that offense. Prada still has opportunity here. Just a patience, nice tech. Ooh. Patience, Neo Karsh. Back to the corner, knows next hit will kill, especially if Prada builds that 50 meter. Doesn't even need it right there, because far heavy. Man, that button does my taxes. That button takes me to school, all that good stuff. Everything. All right, here we go. One apiece. This is what I want to see for this match. Like, we, we are going to get up. I hope this goes down to the wire. All right, spear to check the, uh, the neutral advancement here for Neo Karsh. Checking the trap too, yup, I like that. Scary. If Prada starts to play the whip punish game, things could get a little dicey, but yeah. Neo Karsh also oh. ooh, that was clean. <laughs> that was mad clean. Yeah, I was really focused on trying to get that anti-air as well, too. Especially trying to shut down the uh, aerial hex. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh no, almost jumped right into the trap right there, but yeah, ready with the 2L check. Yeah, block and firm, and we get those. Neil Karsh still playing at a massive deficit right now. Yeah, see that that was not supposed to be overhead. That was yep. I didn't realize I was under 50 bars. I wanted to rush. Ooh, okay, go for the whip punish. A little scary. That's okay. Still playing it out with Nooch right here. Yeah, we're just we're checking with all the meter right now. Oh jeez. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That teleport being able to get shut down though. Nice. Taking up both traps with that too. The overhead, but not counter hit. <laughs> and Prada went for that 2L, too, at that low profile. That, yo, Prada taking the first game. Okay, Prada. Okay, I respect it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, real question is, what's the adjustment from Neo going to be? You see him not right. in there. He's not, he's not out of this yet. Not by a long no, shot. No, not at all. All right, let's see. Very wary of that load trap there as well, too. Trying to take their time to try to shut it down, but Prada is absolutely protecting that with their life. Yeah, and like one of the things Prada's really good at with that is like knowing, okay, you're gonna go for the portal right here. I'm gonna hit you with EX Spear right. and counter hit you, which we saw that. I mean, we saw that earlier. Like Prada's really good at doing that. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I want to see. A little yeah. too far away to get the, the good conversion, and but that's what, okay. Yeah, but what a two H to shut down both aerial hexes. And I almost feel like in this matchup, like, yeah, Prada is definitely more focused on these uh, trap setups as well, but I think it's too much attention on these hexes to start with because now Prada's starting to slowly pick away at Neokarsh as they're reacting to traps. But that does not sway Neokarsh clearly in this round. Yeah. If, if Neokarsh could get, like, a couple good straight hits in early, get down to 50%, and, like, right. fish for a good hit, like, I... I don't okay. want to say that's going to be his best chance of doing this because, oh, yeah, see, that's a great understanding of how Clash works in this game. I yeah. love that. Yep, there, yeah, there's see that rise back, back out again. Yep, yep. tried to, but missed. See, more Got focus on getting rid of those, but also you gave time for Pro Prada to build up the rock. Yep. And the, oh, wow, excellent 2-H right there. Not counter his, so can't get the full conversion. Back at the traps right here. What a press, my goodness. 
Yeah, frame trap, far heavy, back to full screen. Yes, indeed. Do yeah. a nice self. Oh, there it is. Throw bait. Yeah, caught that. So scary. Not enough to kill, though. Wow, yeah. okay. That rush really mitigated a lot of the damage there, yeah, but also got sure. a better position. Anti air, Colleen, of course. Switch. This picture perfect to a. Wow, this, like, you, we do not see Neil Kart risking it on jumps like that very much. That's like, right, I, you can right. tell Prod is starting to get in his head a little bit, I think. Oh, no. Ooh. Nice 2M. Jump yep. I just guard it out. Just immediately get rid of it. Not, do not let those be a threat. Especially if Prada burns EX on that, too. I could definitely see why it's worth just instantly taking that off the board because you got to wait for that cooldown to come back, yep, too. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay, yep. Good aim by... It's the instant block, but still yep. stuck in the corner. All right, nice. Got the ice Money. ball. Yeah. Yeah, off the wall with the hula hoop here. EX set up again. All right, one... Oh, no, okay. Able to dissipate. And no, no rush conversion. Just barely built the meter, yeah. <laughs> Happy to play this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think uh, Dead. Prada, that's it. That's... No! Uh, yeah, too far away from that. Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, Prada didn't want to go for Rush because we wanted to try to bait out Neo Karsh's uh, overdrive there. Unfortunately, we had the spacing. Should have been a kill, and Prada missed an opportunity. Neo Karsh is going to make you pay for it with the wow. counter hit. Big W here. We're still alive, and that's that's why you never count these, uh, yes. these experienced cats like Neo Karsh out. He don't quit. Not ever. No, oh, that was so clean. So, and that's, yeah. that's what I was talking about. Prada has previously had issues with gas decking before. Like, low key over the past year, done a really good job for cleaning it up. Right. But, like when you're when you're down to the wire like that, you're you're about to go to losers finals. Like, that catches your head a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there's another the sweep. Stagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh thank Neo God, not a counter hit though, but caught standing up at the very least. All right. Neo happy to give up space right here. Try to finish for the jump. Yup. Yeah. Had the right read, but just a little too late. Check him. Yup. Couple five H's for you there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not great, but that's also fine. That yeah. could have been much worse. <laughs> Unfortunately, just wasn't able to uh, get that spot dodge, right? Because we want to go for the 2L. Yeah. But uh, the recovery was still there a little bit too long. Money. Oh, that was it right there. All right, so can't rely on chip because Prada is in overdrive. Yeah. That oh. is going to hit. And we are going to see my favorite SSBA in the game. Are we going to get the ender? All right, hang loose. Yeah, no, no, no. So we're, we're not going to see the full statue. We do tech that. Oh, yeah, see, ready for the ready for the teleport there, too. That's match of knowledge. Oh, not ready for the far heavy. And Prada yeah. is once again on set point. Oh man, yeah, you, you you could see like a lot of a lot of the new players in the crowd pulling out for Prada. Oh like, yeah, this absolutely. Is, yeah. All right, here we go. Yep, two you hits the Prada classic. Set the trap off to you. Oh nice, two eights there. Oh, oh no, crossed up by the, uh, the actual yeah. portal itself. That's crazy. Yeah, that is rough. That's a punish. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. All right, got the pick up here. Going to carry back into the neutral screen. Late tech. There Already it is. caught pressing on that crouch media, but still with the thrust immediately after getting pushed back out. So we're going to get this corner position. Oh, That's... I think we're caught. I'm pretty sure we're caught. Oh, yes. What? You were okay? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. I, th I thought you were right. I thought that was going to whiff cleanly, but no, Prada down with the sickness. Let's yeah, get it. Yeah, Prada definitely okay. called out that back dash for sure with that over. Or, the Skybound art setup here. I've been on Guilty You play Fox Street Fighter 6, dude? And... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, bro. Oh, but yeah, man. yeah, that, uh, that Skybound art really was definitely the call here because of how wide it is, right? So we're covering that back dash. And we already saw immediately after the overdrive activation yep. that the crouch medium was already within. So you got a little bit of pushback in space. Neo Car's definitely making the right call for that back dash, expecting a button. But hey, if I had this ever reaching. Skybound art. If I may as well put this. that down there, you yeah. know? And it, it was a good read. Like, I'm going to be a like, risky option. But yeah. hey, you know what? Like, you're Hard that read. close. You, you have a round buffer. I mean, you made that read anyway. What else so. you going to do? Block? You have to block. Although, unless you were already in the sky, you had to block. You have to block that. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, great stuff for Prada. Uh, she going to get to stay in the hot seat because the Axis mm -hmm. is coming up next. And we are going to Oh, this is a run back. I just realized that. Is this the run back? I'm doubting myself now. Yeah, I was going to say, bring, bring, bring up the bracket, because I am definitely doubting myself. Who Did Prada get in in losers or winners? Uh, Prada was in the losers. Uh, it was losers. No, 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 no lost no, no. a wavy. Lost okay, a wavy, so wavy, it's not wavy. the run back. All right, not I, yet, I'm tripping. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so <sighs> Prada Axe and Star to start things off here in this losers finals. Back to first to three. 
This is this is the first character that brought up started to pick up other characters in order to like counter pick around Cagliostro, mm. uh, because she she didn't like dealing with Matera. And right, you right, know what? Right. I get it. Like, and we we saw what Wavy could do. Um, didn't need Cagliostro to do that. Right. Um, I know. Prada has a couple different characters that can do with this. Yeah, uh, I, I want to say played six for a while. Um, decided that was that was That's okay. That's right. But I love like, the six play. It was yeah. just okay. I, I think I had the most success with Catalina of all of all characters, believe it or not. Yeah, because um, originally it was a lot of Catalina, and then obviously six came out. Uh, yeah, Prada has bounced around a lot of characters. Looking back at the history of the game. Um, yeah, especially like when they're playing with Master Chipmunk. Like, I think there was a spot at NEC where they ended up going to bracket, and they're like, okay, Luna Loop. It's time. But, but like they do that but normally they do that because, because they yeah. both have such a they play wide character all the pool. time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like it was still a hype set, like a yeah. little sloppy, but like it was still pretty cool. Um, yeah, sticking with the Cagliostro though, I really like this pick. This is this is what got you here, straight up. Like this is the character you've been putting the work in. Um, the counter picks have sometimes worked out. Yeah, sometimes they haven't though. And like it, you you want to be at your best. I definitely respect this. Yeah, I mean, Prada definitely want to go as far as they can go in this bracket here. Obviously, and very much does uh, accent as well. So, uh, good luck to both competitors here in this losers finals. But yeah, this matchup alone will be interesting. Obviously, Matera definitely a very strong contender in this matchup because we get to lock down Cagliostro. She doesn't really get to set up as much as she wants to. But we'll see how this neutral approach is going to work. But Axon has definitely been showing a thing or two. Expect a lot of far L. I'll rush confirms. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> That's all I'm expecting, right? It's just like, cool. Yeah. I'm going to interrupt most of what you've got set up. Even if you lower a trap, fine. I'm going to blow it up 5L. I have my anti art buttons that are super easy and clean. Rainfall round start, of course. Cross up with the butterfly explosion. An excellent pickup. You're already 50% likely for Axon. Oh, no. OK. All right, that could have been a lot worse. OK. Still, Axon gets a big hit right here. We might know. Oh, yeah, there's the cash out. OK, we're going to see it. So this still might not kill, because this does awful damage. Yeah, all right. Still, you got to worry about Chip Prada just barely about to build that 100 meter. And we're going back to full screen. Now you got to get in. Axon Star could say, hey, we got 70 seconds. Ooh. I don't need to do that, but like, bad I can't. spot dodge. Very <laughs> bad spot dodge yeah. right there. A little bit too early from Prada. That's the other one of the other really funny things about this matchup. Matera has so many different timings for how you have to spot dodge. It can be a little funky yeah, if you're yeah, not yeah. really dialed in. Absolutely correct. Now Prada does get the punish on the uh, round start two you there from Axon Star. All the, already finds himself stuck in the corner. We are going to get the crouch confirm off this. Reset into the pressure here with the butterflies. That's the throw bait again. Prada caught guest attacking. A nice aerial pickup as well. We're going the distance here. Got the setup with the butterflies. And stays plus with the rush. Oh, oh. It's still able to. Great activation of the overtime. The invulnerability covering the exploding butterflies here. Nice bounce off the wall. Oh, there it is. SSBA. We don't even need the animation, bro. Prada out here cooking with that thing. It's all gold. It's all, it's all gold. G-O-L-D. It's gold. Shout out to my brother Jules fans. All right, one apiece here in game one. We are back at the first of three territories. This is your loser's finals. Your hell's finals, by the way. Love that little touch. Yes. All right, nice spot dodge again. That's another punish. No. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Axon's so good at catching people with that, and Prada's ready for it. Right, right. All right, All right yeah, 5L check. Yup. <laughs> the Axon style special, ready to hit, or ready to confirm Ooh. off any hit. What's the ready to spot dodge the rocket? Just actually ate it. Nice 2H yeah. setup as well. What about to back in for some big damage? I Beautiful love that. Beautiful overdrive activation. Really smart. Everybody's getting so good at like baiting overdrive now where you need a good medio D setup right. or to be able to combo into overdrive. Yeah, that's a punish. Not the end of the world there. Like you already spent it. Still Axon cornering themselves. All right. Can Prada check the Zephyr? Or are we just going to take space? Ooh, wow. I am shocked that didn't kill. Yeah. All right, Rock, yeah, you got to spot dash that to avoid chip, and that's going to do it right there. Axon start taking game one and losers oh, finals. That was so goodness. close. That was so close right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm trying to, so I can't remember the crossover arc. I'm pretty sure Grand Finals was also Wavy and Axon Star. I think Axon won, but I can't remember. We might have had a different Grand Finals. I'm trying to get the lore on that. All right, Axon off to a great start already. Once again, capitalized. Got a full oh. base for Prada. Money. Yeah. That's a good version. Yeah, a couple of them, too. The big grip of damage here from Axon Star. Axon is hungry for that run back. And you got to match what Prada is, but... Uh, Axon's not giving any opportunity for Prada to show that. Nice. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What an overhead. The fadeaway jump shot. 
This is this is the really funny thing about these Matera players is they they've found a way to use all of their options in like truly unique ways. Be Who uses a universal overhead like that? Because they had to. Right? They had For to so exactly. long. They had to use these tools. Yep. This is the toolkit you gave me. I gotta figure this out. And now they've been blessed with universal mechanics, including with Rush, that expanded their uh, you know their gameplay vocabulary yeah, beyond the limits. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, oh, yo, we do check those. So master, normally master, that's that's yeah. a true Brock string, but like able to backdash the starting hitbox yeah. and the teleport. That was so smart. That's a very specific situation oh to goodness. understand. Like, shout out to X-Star for having that. Very unfortunate position wow. right there. Prada being able to get that 2L punish. Axon got the first game, but we're going to see a lot of back and forth on this. Yo, Prada. Prada's still playing really well. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Send the rock out. Yup. Roll right through it. Oh, That's nice. what I want to see more of. Butterfly to carry you over to the corner, too. Full carry. Nice. And the plus ramps of the rush. Yep. Prada's so ready with that. Oh, yeah. Two eights. Beautiful with the trap down as well. 50%. Easy money. And you. Okay. Okay. Yup. Yup. Yo, I, I wish I was there. They're both just swinging. That's all it is. They're both like, no, this is my lead, not yours. Yeah. Actually, this is my lead. That's what I. You gotta prove that this pressure's real, because I ain't gonna respect it. You Yo, okay. all right. Good that was, answer back. That was a real quick yeah, like, two yeah, rounds right yeah, there. Yeah. My goodness. Axe two. And then, like I said it before, we've we've seen this a few times. Axe go down early in the set and able to bring it back. Right. Could make it happen against Wavy right now, but we got a tie game, and Axe is not out of this by any means. All right, nice. Got another spear, big jump in as well. So scared. The fact that Prada's like still finding spots to jump in is like kind of sets it all. Yeah. yeah. All right, nice five H here. Ducky. Oh, okay. No, yeah. we're good. We're good. Butterflies out. Yo. Yo. Not quite punishable there. Just minus enough to get off that rush. So yes, smart. Indeed. All right, nice. So a couple butterflies chasing. Where do you think you're going? Five oh, L. So no. destroys it. Oh, and we get the conversion. Unbelievable. Sick. Yeah, thanks to that rush, you were able to get that. Full conversion here, plenty of damage opportunity, especially with a lot of butterfly chipping. Text the throw, a okay, and we finally get it. We good, we good. Yep. Wow. Another beautiful 2L. Axon has got the first round of all three games. I just realized That's that. true. That's, That's true. crazy. That's a big call out right there. But we'll see. We'll see how it keeps going. Woo! <laughs> Axon's movement, I'm telling you, it's so good. Yo, yes. that's what I want to see. Counter hit 5H, okay. Sagger, another stagger pressure again. Big anti air, but not close enough to activate Butterfly. And if you get me reach it one more time, I'm going to catch you with the whip punter, says Axon Star. And Prada Ray is in that range, and before you get hit by an optimal starter, you're dead. Yeah. Especially with overdrive now, you got to worry oh, about chip. No. This is going to get very scary. Excellent navigation here by Axon Star. And look at this, the walk down from full screen. Are you kidding me? Yo, Yo, that's it. That's that. That's that. Do we yeah. have the conversion? Has to. Has to. No. Oh, no, that didn't kill. That was combo. Brother. Brother. That's crazy. All right. Well, Chip, Chip's going to play a factor yeah, right yeah. now. Absolutely. Butterfly set up here. You have to start respecting it. Spot dodging. Yeah. What are you going to do? So, especially that spacing. Obviously, what you want to do is can't go to is teleport, right? Yes. Just disengage. Yeah. Axel is at that spacing where if you try that, you're just going to eat a hard you're punch. You're going to get sniped. If you get any hit, you're dead. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was that Especially was to that full screen butterfly setup, that was a matter of time. It's like, look, this is how much time you have left to live. You have to make a godlike reaction if you want to survive this. Yeah, most definitely. And, and honestly, it. like you're right, like just a teleport, right? That is the only thing you could have done, yeah. but you would have gotten sniped out. You're betting on your opponent's reaction now in that situation. And like, I don't know about you, I'm not betting against Action Star's reactions. <laughs> no, no, not at this point. Speaking from personal experience, nah, fam. Oh, Ooh. and we get to jump in? All right, that's a great start here. Should go all the way to the corner, set it, yup. Spot dodge, that's okay. Gets caught with the, uh, the spear there. And yeah, now we're going to see it yes. slow down. Nope, never oh. mind. Psych, we're going back to 11. Money. That's what I want to see. Man, Prada. I mean, both these players are really good at like able yeah. to just put their foot on the gas when they need to. But Prada, especially in the last six months, has has really set themselves apart from a lot of other players in like kind of their skill tier. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Yeah, that's a great adjustment right there. Stop jumping it with buttons. Beat the beat the uh, the anti air. Yeah. Oh, not nice that time though. Up. Yep. Yo, Prada just taking space, and this is, yeah. this is how you have to play this matchup. You would, like, you have to grind this out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But we have a safety net right there, too, with the exactly. low track. Yeah, yeah, it's going to force, like, oh, no! Actually ate the hit. This could be trouble. 
Yep, nice jump back at the butterfly explosion as well. Just has to respect this good spot dodge. Brilliant spot dodge to the needle from Prada here. That's gonna no hit. No shot. That's gonna hit, yep. Full animation too, that's dead. That is dead. What a read from Action Star. That wasn't a read, let's be real. That was a reaction, for yeah, sure. The reaction that was, was a reaction. insane. Wow. I mean, easy input reaction, but regardless, it takes the audacity to, not the audacity, the skill to make that reaction. Yeah, absolutely. E easy inputs. I don't know. If you, I'm not going down that road. Never it's not, mind. It's not bad. By any stretch of magic, I did not mean that as an insult. No, at no, all. no. Of course like, not. Literally, of course not. like that is important because look, that's the one reaction I'm going to make. Exactly. And it's very important because not everybody can make that type of reaction. Exactly. Oh wow! Actually, trade on the spear there, and this is going to be a lot of damage. No, missed the wall bounce a little too far nice. away. Nice. Got the back dash. Woo! Oh, we kind of sat there and took that overhead. Wait a minute. Close heavy. Yeah. Uh, no, not enough to kill. A little too far away. Might not have had hula hoop on tech, honestly. Yeah, I think we tried to do a spot dodge right there. We got the rush. We're plus. Another one. Back to back spot dodge. Be careful. Get a little antsy. No antsy here. <gasps> wow. Throw. Yep. This is, we're potentially one hit away from both players. Yeah, absolutely. No cap. There it is. That's it. No, wait. No, you dropped it. Yeah, I dropped That's it. That's a drop. All right, we're going to final game. Yeah, yo, look at Axel right now. Hands on yeah, the head right there. Yo, no, 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 no. You still got a chance, Axel. It is not over yet. Yeah, it's not over. It's okay, though. One more game. Shake like, it off. Yeah. Yo, this is like, this is getting to both of them. You can see, my goodness. Just a small fraction of a frame away from victory, away from getting the run back here. Two all in the set in this loses finals. Yeah, you, you, especially at the stage of the game, you can't let that get to you. Actions come too far, put in too much work to let that happen. Right. Yo, that's what I want to see. Check the teleport. Yes, sir. Okay, punish the throw with the throw. We good. Throw yeah. bait. Yup, Axe so good at that. <laughs> this is like uh, angry Axe coming out like yeah, ready yeah, to absolutely. shut this down. It's like, you know what? I messed up, but uh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. You're going to pay for it. Beautiful. Overdrive. Now you're going to get chipped. Oh, oh. Uh, unless you die for this. All right, one hit away. Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I don't know about that. What? Yo, this character's butts. No. This character's butts. Put her in the trash. I can't believe I just said that out loud, but we need to, we need to buff Matera. That, well, the rock was already out. It was already a projectile on top of her anyways. Yep. Like it was a panic reaction to try to get this. You're in a scramble situation. You still got to keep your cool if you want to get the victory. And the worst part is if you did SBA, I think that would have hit. I think that would have hit because that right, has involved. That's the involved. Yep. Yeah. That, that's crushing. I, yeah, this 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 will, this might be the mental overload for Axis Star right now. Prada going to get a lot of damage on the wall mounts here. You set it up. Bro, nice no, it doesn't throw. even need to set it up. Yeah, already spot oh, dodge. That's a wrap. Oh, that's it gonna is do a over. Wow. Golly. Oh, no. Like, that's like, honestly, like, big ups to Prada. Yeah. Came back yeah, from a yeah. pretty decent deficit. Played that very well. But yes. That is so crushing for Axon right now. So. I feel for you, bro. I'm, I'm going to go give that man a big hug when I see him after this. Jeez oh, Louise. That's so yeah, crushing. Just one fraction of a frame off from victory right there. All that we needed was that Skybound art, but it was such a tight window to get that confirmed. That's so tragic. And then time and time again, it kept falling apart at the seams, not for a lack of making, uh, you know, the right decision, right? Because, yeah. you know, that Skybound art would have been the ideal just for the invulnerability as opposed to Super Skybound art. But again, in a scramble situation, you go for the most immediate thing, exactly. and that was it. And that rock was already there from Caglio show, so it's tragic to see that the interrupt had happened. Like, even the crowd thought for sure that was it. Yep. I, I'm more than one occasion, right, from the drop combo, from the rock setup as yep. well. It is so tragic here, but Axton did a tremendous job throughout wow. this bracket. It's just unfortunate here, but we still got a run back match coming up ahead of us got here. It. Yeah, got so. It. And I'm gonna be real with, with how cleanly that way if you won that in winner's mm -hmm. finals, that was a fast 2-0. That was a yeah. fast 2-0. Like, yeah. Prada's gotta reset the bracket, do this three times, like, <laughs> It's going to be a challenge, but she's coming in hot right now. Like, yeah, that, that's a good feeling. Either way you slice yeah. that, like, I, I definitely feel for Axel, but, like, if you're Prada right now, you're like, nah, you know what, drops nah, aside, yeah, like, yeah. I grinded that like out. Like, you I absolutely got killed it in that yeah. set. It's just, man, yeah. yeah. Like, don't let the scramble, like, 
it is good to be uh, coming out successful in scramble situations yes. because not everybody is capable of doing that. It's very important because so often we get into scramble situations in fighting games and the people, the strong players come out on top in those situations because you know what, hey, I may have made a scramble, but I'm still able to get this confirmed after the fact. I'm still the one coming out with the big hit and being able to capitalize off of those scramble situations. Yep. And granted, that happened several times for Prada throughout that set. And I think that's going to be important here in the set against Wavy. But the way that Wavy was playing with that Belial in the last set, holy smokes. Even in the mirror, it, 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 it felt so one-sided that, that yeah. Wavy was instantly able to win neutral. On the first hit, bring Prada to the corner. And then it's mind games after that. Like, we, right. did, we didn't even really see, like, the normal kind of, like, Cagliostro shenanigans. And I think there's a reason for that. Proud is ready for it. Like, like wa Wavy, wa Wavy respects her opponent enough to realize, like, you know the Straight. answer to the real stuff. Yeah. I'm going to get in your head, and I'm just going to beat you because I know I'm done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I, I think that's what we saw in Winner's Finals. Um, that being said, I am very much looking forward to Proud to prove me wrong. Proud to prove me wrong against Neo Kush, against Axe Star. Look, we're at grand finals here. Do so we have do we have the do we have the hat trick? Do we have the hat trick? We're yeah. looking for that. Here we go. And of course, Wavy is sitting big chilling after a strong showing there. I'm uh, almost wondering if we're gonna see a finals. meme pick in, for for this first part. You like like stick with the Belial or something. Look at you know Wavy already looking back thinking about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that face? She's like, mm, you know, maybe the Percy. Actually, okay. When's the last time you've seen Wavy's Percy? Stop. I don't remember the last time. Like, really? It's sick. Wavy has a legitimately very strong Percival. Okay. It's okay. very scary. It's yeah. been a minute. I can't recall the last time I saw. I think he's been using Belial more recently, but I, I also haven't been watching as much online as I used to, so I, okay. I can't remember. Uh, but okay. Wa Wavy does have a Percival. Don't think this is a meme pick. She's been on the, yeah, this and, Percy. And this is a hard Percy. matchup for um, for Cagliostro, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was... Uh, yeah. Actually, according, according to Wavy, I asked, I asked Wavy, actually, we were running the set, and I'm like, all right, what, what do you like least, Percival or Lancelot? She's like, oh, Percy, easy. Are you kidding me? I'll, I'll play Lancelot all day. Percy? No. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely play Lancelot all day over Percy myself either. <laughs> touche, touche. All right, here we go. Yeah, right off the bat, playing all. Uh, I'm wondering if that was a missed input. I think yeah. that was going for a two-H right there. Actually, I got the down down. I put that reach, happens. Spot dodge on both sides here, win throw. All right, Wavy. Immediate shutdown on the reaction with the 2H shutting on both traps here. And really, Prada trying to get established. Excellent rush. Oh, right oh, into the goodness. spear. Yeah, that's tragic. And we're going to get the other one, too, to go for the side swap. Missing the 2U, like kind of missing out on the optimal ender, but that's OK. That's OK. You still got the position. You're still pretty close. You got your damage. Yo, nice backship to get more damage. Backship right back at you. <laughs> Awkward little whiff punch for the rock right there. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, teleport. And that's just bait right there. That's that's throwing your opponent. Yep. Good stuff. All right, so Prada is able to put the first round on the board here. <laughs> Combo into the portal for good measure. Just to make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, exactly. This man might get back up. Hold we, on. We Percy confirm is all our kills. Yeah. <laughs> Double tap every time. Oh, my goodness. All right, yo, speaking Fuck of confirms, we got the confirms. Oh, no, laying on the DP right there. All right, there we go. Charging up the whole thing, yeah. All right, another rock set up here, gonna be pushed back to the corner. Okay, all right. EX, uh, EX dash to get out, using the L under. Yeah, excellent 2H. All right, dash on in here. Teleport back out, nice 5L. Beautiful call, 2H, wow. nothing to pick up off of it, but hey, you yeah, got everything clean off the board. Yeah. That's funny, too. Percy, Percy's 2H is not known for that kind of horse no. operation. <laughs> that was clean. Oh, huge whiff right there. Yeah, just a whiff punch that time. Probably yes. definitely ready for it there. That's a whiff punish. No, and you did a confirm. Oh, it didn't have rush. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, Good throw. no, Prada, you can't lose off that. Come on now. Yeah, that's a very scary situation to be in. He expired the clash, the rush. Both in and bowling yeah, though, catches the spot dodge from Prada. Wavy taking around. That was clean. Yeah, that's that's why you don't give up ever. Like, no. uh, you are, if you have a sliver left, you got a chance. All right, rock to check instantly. We're seeing Wavy start to throw out some more of these far heavies. If Prada gets the whip punish game going, this could force a uh, switch. Or you could just confirm like that for a nice 30%. No, not quite 30, but that was that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, just dancing around this neutral. Like, Percy's got the good range, but you do have to be intentional with how you, like, take space. You got to yeah. be very careful about that. 
Yeah, you gotta watch out for that spear. I wanna see more uh, spot dots on the spear from Wavy, too. Oh, yep, Ooh, okay. Yeah, a little yeah, scary. Yeah. Gave up the positioning here, too. That that could be, oh, never mind. We're good, we're out. Back throw into the corner, yep. Oh, just barely misses that confirm. Back shift, yep, nice. I like that. Five eights, but not close enough to get a confirm off of it, either. All right, tall order here. Yo, we're dashing on in. Stagger, dashing, wait. <laughs> You commanded so much space with a dash up 5L. Yeah. Oh, the chase down, yeah. So that, that's another thing. It's like, once people start to read into the fact that Prada does absolutely want to do that back shuffle the lap, she will start to get chased down. Oh, Wavy, yeah. Wavy, Wavy knows that already. Let's be honest. Like, they've, these two have played together enough. No way. Uh, Never. We <laughs> haven't played each other. <laughs> this Both is the rare blue time. playing each other. Yeah, no. right. Oh, my goodness. Yep, Yo, 2H, not yeah, 2-H, counter hits. Look at the casual walk up, like just stand up for me. Come on, we'll try this again. I'm playing reactive and I will react to everything. Ooh, okay. I like the change up, right? Because hey, that could have been a DP, and then Wavy just backed off, like, you know what? Here's your fireball. Definitely a strong option there. Still has plenty mm -hmm. of stocks left to play with here. Perfect spacing. 5L will get that whip punish, but nothing significant quite yet. Rare Perfect. footage of uh Kag Far M actually getting whip punish. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is a hard button whip punish. Stagger into the gravity well. All right. Full combo punish. No, oh. not the optimal. Is that bait? No, not quite. Yeah, there it is. Stop. Oh. Fafir. That's the funny part. Like, Percy, for like a slower walking character, has those full screen options where if you're trying to set those traps without getting some conditioning going, yes. you're going to have a bad time. Ooh, almost gets the full conversion off that. That was clean. Oh, oh. DP. Yo. Big yeah, reach. just pulling with the far end, right? Yeah, so strong. I mean, let's keep going with fireballs here. What are you gonna do about these? Nice. We're close to the gap here. Keep the combo string going. EX, we're still safe. Chip it away, chip it away. Open Money. up into skybound art. Jesus Christ. Not enough to kill, though, because no. this is Percy. Oh, EXDP is gonna make it happen. Oh, Yo. and Wavy's just laughing Yo. about that. That's the, oh, that's disrespectful. I mean, that it was a disrespectful DP, but hey. Like, what are you going to do about it? I'm yeah. at 100% health, and you threw me, or you counter hit me with overhead? All right, Cute. DP. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you man. thought it was your turn? Anyways. And this is, this is like, this is part of the mind game for Wavy right here. Like, probably understanding that, like, okay, I just beat Prada in the mirror. That's fine. What, right. How else can I get a Prada set? How else can I do that? Um, and that's, see this right here. I was talking to Prada's Catalina earlier. I... Ages since we've seen this. No, 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 no. She no. broke it out like a month or two ago. A month or two ago. Like, really? uh, that's the last time I saw it anyway. Maybe, okay, maybe okay, we've okay, seen okay. it since then. But now we, we've seen it more recently as a counter pick to um to Matera typically. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're right. You're right. You did say that. But I, I, I kind of like this move. I'm not gonna lie. I still think this is a losing matchup. But I, I don't know. You got to try something at this point, right? You're oh, down, yeah, you're down yeah. two to zero. It's grand finals. You got to make it but happen. But then you got to stick with this character. Like if this is like if it's too close to the wire. Like, that is tough. And I mean, that, that goes both ways, right? Because True. if you get the first round, okay, I, I have a starting point. Yep. Yeah. I can I can, I can can build a mental game plan on this. Um, and like, the CAG wasn't working straight up. It, no, it wasn't. not at all. Not at all. All right, got the Sagger 5L, nice thrust. Ooh, we punish the far end for Percy, okay. Ooh. And check on the command dash, that's what I love to see. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're starting to see more preemptive buttons here from Prada, yeah. but Wavy will start playing the whiff punish game if she yes. gets too over eager with that. A couple DPs here will send a message as well. Armor up, let's get the back dash. Out of range from Percy. <laughs> ah, there it is, all right. Yeah. Nice stagger, stagger. We're getting the head. the wall. Oh, that's a bad drop right there, should have had the extension. No! Oh. Yeah, <laughs> keep it optimal, all right. Look at the close heavy, but that's okay. You got the positioning. Yep. Got plus right there too. Yeah, far M check. That's that's the button for Catalina. Okay, okay, Prada. All right, so dropping the super confirm, but still able to get the round. And already, I mean, this is working out as as, as good as it can be yeah. for right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's still very early, but one miss input right there. Oh, that's a good one actually. Good opportunity to get that punisher off DP. The ultimate memes are going to be if uh, Wavy switches to CAG after this. <laughs> That's insult to injury right there That's if you do that. That's absurd if you do that. But that, that makes sense from Wavy's perspective, right? Like, get it going yeah. with, with, with Percy and then, okay, right. cute, you got used to that? All right, I'm gonna still win this. All right, get to the rush confirm. That's money. Up the wall. 
Oh, great tag. Able to stay alive. Yeah, we don't guess tag here. DP to trap, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. All right. All right, Prada, putting a round up on the board. Yo, if this is Cagliostro sure pick, though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, Wavy might meme into a rematch. Yeah, I was going to say. So, what, I feel like Wavy's one of those players where, like, nah, I committed to Percival. I'm going to beat you with Percival. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make you believe in this okay. Percival. Like, if Prada wins another game, we might see it. But, right, right, right. like, sticking with it for game four makes I sense. I mean, Percival's me. still a strong pick against Catalina anyway, too. He's still top three. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, oh, geez, geez, there it is. the two H setup too. Yeah. All yeah, right, we, we talk about like the zoner players knowing him like when to turn the gas on and off, but like Wavy is so good at doing that with the Shotos too. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Slowly dashing up, trying to get within perfect range here. Nice EX DP. Got that hard knockdown. What a call out with the five L. This is gonna be a big punish and the round. We're on tournament point here for Wavy once again. Once again, yeah, that's super funny. Usually, when you get that ender, like you take you take either a light or a medium stock yeah, to get yeah, one yeah. or three. Nah, Wavy said I'm the out. The shimmy, Wavy, wait a minute. So the half screen shimmy. Wavy sick with it, bro. I'm saying. Oh no, you're oh. gonna get the conversion. Yeah, hard knockdown. See, not taking the stocks again. You. No. That you was kind of twice. disrespectful. Yeah. And I mean, it be like that, right? See, just watch this. Gonna win off. Winning off a whiff punish. That was clean. That, that was a statement. Winning grand finals with Percival. Yo. Powering through a character swap from Prada. Wavy. Wavy's the future. Like, beating Zombie Moo in Combo Breaker. And then not dropping a single set. A single that was spectacular. set. Maybe you're not even. A, oh, no. Drop one game against Prada. But, like. But either way, a spectacular showing, especially to the space and control with Percival. Against Catalina as well. Um, just three different characters, dude. Yes, three yes, yes. I mean, that is complete and utter control. Great knowledge of the game. Great neutral positioning as well, especially with a character like Percival, because it was sound uh, decision making to pick that character. Because, one, you're shutting down most of what Cagliostro sets up, anyways, in a single swipe. You saw it several yes. times. And the immediate full stop from Prada just. Okay, like, wait, w what do I do now that everything is gone? So he watch the Catalina try to go for these counter hits, and my goodness, even still, just being able to outspace Catalina. Yeah. What a call out here from Wavy. And Excellent play. Found some early success, but that's Wavy's adjustment game. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. time. Like, it, yeah. do it doesn't matter what you pick. Like, I'm going to find a way around it. If I have yes. to switch characters, great. Yes. But if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way around it. Absolutely. And oh, we're man. about to get this uh, top eight ceremony here going in just a moment, I think, because uh, we're trying to call up all the top eight players to the front. But everyone that tuned in, thank you so very much. It is, you know, a real treat to be here yeah. casting this top eight Grand Blue Fantasy Versus series here because it's the you last know, top eight. The Grand last Blue top Fantasy eight at, at the very yep. least, it's Yotaku. Like my goodness, um, it's it's going to be really interesting because it's a strong showcase of the past, uh, present, and future of Grand Blue yeah. across the board in this top eight as well. It really uh, is. This was the changing yeah. the guard right here. Yeah. Like you yeah. saw, you saw two new players in Grand Finals. They both looked really good. Like all things considered, they both they both cooked. Which is crazy to call Prada and Wavy new. Right? I feel like like yeah. Prada have been there like from the outset. Of course, Wavy have been on the come up as well. So yeah. both of those players have been, you know, story players, but also the growth of so many players across the community yeah. because of the great, uh, you know, like I said, the resources that are available through the NAPC Discord. Shout out to my homies uh, in NAPC. Yes. If you want to play Grand Blue, that's the spot that's to get code right to go. there. Absolutely. Get some early tech in, uh, some early knowledge by going into, uh, you know, Grand Blue Rising. Um, but we will be getting into that award ceremony in just a moment here. I'll be call out with the cast here because the open mic is not coming through. So, oh my goodness. Mike, come on. That's right, that's are, right. Are they you, calling you, me you up? Got a I medal. actually have to go up? Medal. That's a bummer. All right. That's a bummer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll play it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> that's a, that's a yes, good. indeed. All right, folks, we're getting this top eight set up here. And of course, that's right. <laughs> Lennox getting this top eight position here, meaning they're taking that seventh place. So good stuff. We're getting the lineup going here. Yeah, great showing overall. All right, so in seventh place, first medal going to Lennox right there. And right behind Lennox is Rurik as well for tying in seventh. Yeah, folks, I don't have a chat pulled up, so I apologize. But Lennox gave up the top eight spot to sit up here with me. 
I mean, what a showman. What a showman indeed for this one. And Jabaley himself presenting the rewards. Awards. Re really, chat? Come on. Um, but it's really cool. Check out the... Uh, Unfortunately, if you're not here, the lanyards of the CEO Taku uh, lanyards have a little Easter egg in them. Uh, so try and see if you can get yourself one at the uh, CEO Gaming Shop. Also spectacular merch this year. I bought every single shirt. Uh, Jeez Louise. All right, I think the mic is on. All right, here we go. There it is, Lennox taking that seventh place medal here for early dropout, and then also taking seventh place. Like I said, Rurik, Lennox would have taken on against Monarch. Fifth is going to be that Callisto for Team Big Willie. Get those Willie boat emails in the chat, please. Monarch also tied for fifth. It's Michael Jordan. It's Neo Cars. I'm just joking, y'all. Y'all might actually be able to hear the microphone over my mic with how loud it is right now. It's possible. Give it up for Action Star. Yes, Action Star with a super heart crushing ending, unfortunate. Absolutely great showing here from this top three, this top eight entirely, but of course, even from Wavy and Prada for a fantastic grand final set. I mean, Wavy absolutely dominant in her performance today. Yeah, couldn't be happy to see this top eight as well, too. An excellent show. Uh, and everyone that tuned in again at home, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Uh, there's going to be more CEO Taku action, unfortunately, Grand Blue is all said and done tonight and i think uh, yo. yo check this out, check this out. <laughs> you see this you see this right here look at this this is nice dude <laughs> this is really nice you gave it up no no no. i got my medal oh you still I got, got my medal i still got top eight and nobody can take that away from me for real yeah 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 so real talk like i i don't know listen i I wanted to commentate this really bad, a lot more than I wanted to play it. And like, I'm so happy I made top eight, but this is, this is two seconds, yeah, 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 I got you. Like, if y'all still play this game and still watch this game in 2023, thank you, because this is my favorite game. This game has given me so much. I have met so many incredible people like this guy. <laughs> I never would have met you if it wasn't for this game. And Hell. like, uh, you, you're, you, my life, my life would be worse without you, and I, I don't say that lightly. No. Like, like I, I mean that. Like, hey, you know, th this game has given me a lot. It, so. it's, it's so happy to meet you through this game. <sighs> Dude, you know, fighting yeah. games do bring people together in spectacular uh, moments, memories as well. Yeah. So please pick up the game, especially now they have all sorts of fun game modes coming in for Grand Blue Rising. You'll see me at Fall Guys, time. bro. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a whole new era of Grand Blues yeah. and Grand Blue. It'll be a spectacular time, but that'll do it here for us. Is there another game after this? I think we're done. It's a 10 o'clock yeah. hour. Yeah, this so is it. For the day. See you Bye. tomorrow starting at 11 a.m. for top eight action. This has been CEO Taco number seven. I've been zero. This is Lennox. Peace out. Pleasure as always. We'll see you when we see you. Yes. Have a good night. Later days, everybody.